All right, you're listening to Clemente's Corner. I'm your host. What's going on, everybody? This is episode 53, I think. I'm here with two Lubbock comedians. Just drove in to do the podcast. Say what's up. This is Paul Y. Arias. Hey, what's going on? And Rafa. How's it going, guys? Hey. So you guys drove all the way over here just to do a podcast? Just do a podcast, man. Yeah, I've so been... Uh, yeah, it's a long ride. We filled it with a lot of... Uh, a lot of racial jokes and anti-feminist stuff, and uh, and uh, you know some bigotry. So, <laughs> oh yeah, everything but anti. He's, he's big on bigotry. Every, every, yeah, bigotry. Big time. Everything but anti-Semitism, bro. Big, I'm, not big bigotry, I'm not down with that. I'm not down. I'm not down with the anti-Semites, bro. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Pro-Israel, man, yeah, all the shout, way. Shout out to the Jews. Shout out to them. I don't. I don't know enough about the Palestine-Israel situation. I don't either, but I'm just with Israel. You know, it's it's whatever, yeah, man. It seems, I, like, yeah. it seems like a good side. They're winning. I think. Right. And if you if you don't agree with me, that's fine. You gotta too. pick a side one way or the other. Have, yeah, it's what we were talking about in the cards. Might as well win in tribalism. Mm-hmm. Picking the win one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I go with the Jews. You know, I mean, I'm gonna make fun of them. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, make fun I of mean, Jews. You gotta make fun of Jews a little bit. Right. But I'm I'm also down with the Jews. <laughs> you know. So there was a street fight. I I mean, I'm not sure how much I can help now because I get very winded. But I mean, I'm gonna throw some, I'm gonna throw some punches, so you man. Mean like they cheerily there on the sidewalk. <laughs> After I'm down, yeah. Whenever I get knocked out, yeah, yeah. You guy with the big nose, you you kick his ass. Okay, I got you. <laughs> throw some gold coins at him or, or something. Yeah. Yeah, gold coins. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> throw some some, some bouillons. All those all those Jew gang fights. You know? <laughs> well, they were mafiosos at one point in 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 New York. Really? Yeah. The um, like Jew, there was a Jewish mafia. Yeah, yeah. And they even Ooh. talked about it. Yeah, and they they talked about it in the. Um, I mean, well, think about. I need mean, a movie about this. Yeah, well, think about. Uh, Where's the, my seventy five cents? The <laughs> <laughs> the bookkeeper for for the for for Murder Inc. What's his name, man? Um, uh, he Don't was a Jew, him. and even I think Bugsy Siegel was a Jew as well. See, I don't yeah. even know who those people. Are. I know BB Siegel is. How old? No, come on, dude. Let's say rock. He is you know, from a different generation. I heard the name, you, but I don't know the whole history. You're 24, right? Yeah, who told you? Well, I, I listen to your podcast, oh, man. Okay. Come on, Thank bro. You. I'm a truck. I drive a truck, man. So I have a lot of time. I listen to a lot of. Uh, well, I was gonna say horse shit. I'm not saying your podcast is horse shit, but I listen to a lot of stuff, man. Oh, so my podcast is horse shit. Well, no, it's good, uh, man. I, and I, I heard, promote it. It's a horse shit podcast. <laughs> I first heard you on the. Um, on Skyler's podcast, yeah, so that was a I went. I don't even know how long ago that was, man. Because I started listening to Skyler's podcast whenever JJ Howell was on there. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it was and on that I, episode. Okay, then I started. Yeah, then there was other ones that I heard from that, and then uh, I listened to him and I listened to you every time. I mean, y'all go some. I go some days. Y'all go some weeks without podcast sometimes, man. I've gone the longest I've gone is two weeks. This is the last time, right? Yeah, yeah. It was but dry started, spell. Yeah, I started in January. So. Okay. I was pretty consistent up until a couple weeks ago. And so, were you on his podcast regularly? Were you? Were you like a no, co-host? I was. I was never a co-host. I was probably. I probably been on like three or four times. Okay. But yeah, I wouldn't have a podcast if I wasn't if he if I didn't get on his. Okay. He had to do everything. And then he's he's the one to set this up, or he's the one to help you with the stuff. Or? Yeah. Like okay. He told, he told me what to what to purchase and everything. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. That's, that's cool. yeah. That, that that yeah. That's neat, man. He's had some steady growth with it. Have you guys been on um? What's his name? That guy from like, John Lewis. John Sims. Lewis. Have yeah. you been on his podcast? Yeah. I've been there a couple of times. Yeah. Nice. That was awesome. That was, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. He gets a lot of plays on there. Yeah. Uh, well, I know it's. Uh, it. I mean, I don't want to take credit for that, you know, but. Uh, but you yeah, are. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take credit. <laughs> 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 no, it's good stuff, man. It's good yeah. stuff. They got, a, they got a pretty good dynamic, you know, even with Daniel. So uh, pretty good. Yeah, but now is John it, Lewis, uh, John Lewis is moving to what is it, Washington, right? Yeah, DC. That was a that was a that was a poke at Daniel, man. Uh, Daniel, hey, much love, bro. Keep them likes up. So what you don't get it. You remember I was talking about? No, he he, he used that a lot. The word like, yeah, yeah well, I mean, I still like, like Dan. Dan like the Dan the the Dan the. Yeah, we leave retard off now, but uh, yeah, I like Dan, man. I don't know if I'll ever be invited back, you know, because of uh, me roasting him and Kendall, you know, going off on them, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if it happens, if it happens, it happens. It's not no. Oh, well. I, don't, I don't know if I know Daniel. Daniel Clayton, he's he does all the sound. He's um, he's a photographer as well. He's the Is he that older guy. No, he's no, a skinny no. dude. Glasses. He looks like John Lewis, but with glasses. Does he go to mics and everything? Uh, he's been to a few of very them. few times. Oh, yeah, okay. very few times. That's why I haven't yeah. seen him. I mean, it's like say, you know, I said he looks like John Lewis, but but with glasses. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of racist too. It's like saying uh, all white people look alike, smell like baloney. <laughs> Remember that line from Mo Money? It wasn't racist until you said it. Well, well was, okay, I, I didn't want y'all to miss it. I wanted to make sure you caught the racism there. Do you ever see that part of Mo Money? 
I don't think I've seen that. <laughs> Dang, man. What have know. you seen? Let's go through what you've seen. Right uh, Harry Potter and uh, <laughs> you, probably, you like mumble rap. And he's what from else? Justin Bieber, these ways. And he like likes skinny jeans. Takashi <laughs> 6 ix 9 is the best rapper alive. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, <laughs> and then. Uh, go out and rape if you need to. Well, uh, who doesn't, right? I mean, that's my. That's my <laughs> Why concept. are we roasting the hoes, by the way? <laughs> oh, hold on. We're not we supposed nice? to. Oh, oh, you can. Is that the plan? I didn't know. This ain't a roast roast. Okay, so on Mo Money, you got Marlon Wayans, and he's being interviewed by the by the cops and about mm. some credit card he got from his, from yeah. his brother in the movie Damon Wayne he's like where'd you get this from and Marlon Wayne says some white guy he's like what white guy he says I don't know y'all look alike and smell like baloney <laughs> 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 but you can use that baloney line with anybody man yeah mm-hmm. some Mexican dude what Mexican I don't know he had a mustache it smelled like baloney <laughs> like yeah you, you've already you've narrowed down I mean, you've named half of the Mexican race, you know, half the Mexican people. So that's, you can use that line with anybody. Yeah. Baloney. You, wanna, you could replace baloney, you know, with something else. But. I guess, but when you say baloney, you, you, you keep it true to Mo Money is what you're doing. Mm-hmm. You're paying homage to mm-hmm. to Marlon Wayans and Damon Wayans and Mo Money. Okay. That's what I like okay. to do. You stick with the baloney part. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. Baloney sounds funny. Definitely. It is a hilarious word. Yeah, and it's spelled wrong. So That's true. <laughs> you would think it would end with an N-E-Y, but it's N-A. Yeah. Bologna. It has a silent G. It's supposed to be like a French word, Bologna. Yeah. It sounds like, I don't know. I think is that French? Bologna or, or something. Yeah. I think, is it Italian? Maybe. Something. I, I just said it with an Italian accent, Some, so we're going to pretend it's Italian. Let's call it Honduran while we're on. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> it's part of the Honduran invasion. Italy. It's definitely some form of European. <laughs> hey, I was telling the Rafa in the, in the car, in the truck on the way up here that uh, HIV is, it's, it no longer stands for human immunodeficiency virus. Mm-hmm. HIV yeah, is yeah. now Honduran invaders is what the oh yeah so i like got yeah. a lot of hiv at the hiv border. sun coming in it's seeping in <laughs> better get them antibodies antibodies but i don't know what's about to happen i don't either that's crazy i was talking to one of my honduran friends about it and he's saying that he's a mechanic and he was saying that he he would like to take he also served in the military he wants to take a bunch of little american flags at the border and just start handing them out to them that way they look like they're they're coming in peace you know like hey yeah. we want to be american like maybe go get them some like trump t-shirts yeah oh like, yeah oh, we can't take them out <laughs> make them a great hat yeah. no, they all, they all, they're, they're just brown people voting for trump man wow. <laughs> and then they'll be taking my gig you know what i'm saying that's that's my that's my uh that's, that's, that's your stick that's my staple yeah man yeah. It's my Kanye. stick yeah, I'm, I was doing it before Kanye. We're all brown, <laughs> just different, just different variations of it. I concur. Fifty <laughs> shades of brown. <laughs> People of color. I, I still, we were talking about this too. There's, there's. When someone says a person of color, but we're all people of color, right? Yeah, I was thinking it, about that today. Right. So, so I like saying brown people. Mm-hmm. Me Cause, brown because when white people get cold, they turn blue. You know, <laughs> he says they're pink. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. If they you turn. put a white piece of paper next to your skin or any white person's skin, it, it was, we, they look pink to me. They, turn, they don't look white. They turn red. Yeah, they turn. Yeah, uh-huh. you can't tell the uh, difference between a newborn white baby like, and a piglet. You know, it's the same. Oh, it's the same. Like, they're like <laughs> mood <Okay>. rings. Wow. <laughs> So you got you, you got, heard it here, folks. He thinks all white people are pigs. You so. got you got three basic colors. White supremacist. <laughs> you, I wish here on the podcast. I wish he comes a hate mail on them. You've got three basic colors. You it, it, you got you got white, you got brown, and you got yellow. Right, mm-hmm. and then you got variations with all those. But but there's like a really deep brown. Yeah, well, that's what was like Fifty Shades of Brown. You know, yeah. there's probably more. I mean, if you want, but then you could you could say fifty and then fifty point whatever it is and start numbering mm-hmm. it off like a like a legal document, right? Fifty yeah, one, fifty point, and then fifty point one A one B. That's yeah. three or four, right? Uh-huh. Right. Attachment, see photo, and then pictures of people's <laughs> of people's penises or buttholes, whatever. But I don't know, man. I think all brown people's buttholes are the same. Let me see yours, Rafa. <laughs> no, no, no. Especially <laughs> now for free, that's for sure. You guys ever shaved your butthole? Oh, hell yeah, dude. I trim all the time, man. Really? I don't I don't have hair up top, so why am I gonna have hair on the rest of my body, right? <laughs> I like that. Yeah, dude. I don't uh, I've never I've never gone over there. Yeah, dude, no, I shave I shave my legs. I mean look, my legs are shaved, man. I shave why my you, legs. Why do you shave your legs? Why? And you, and why you wear crocs? Time? Oh, cro- uh, yeah. What? So you got some shit to say about Crocs? Crocs dude, come on, man. Crocs and a fedora. Like, what are you? What are you going for? It's, oh, it's, it's like Halloween <laughs> season. You can go to. It's uh, it's like um, like a safe. You know, what I mean? there's no combination anywhere. You know, every day is Halloween for me. Here's it's, it's what I tell people too, though, man. So I, I'm I'm 
I've been divorced, remarried. I got four kids, right? Mm-hmm. I'm 39 years old. Hairless. I'm a fat, disgusting. Yeah, I got no. No matter what Make I wear, there's no one. That, you're not going to be impressed by what I wear. Not at all. You're not going to be like, hey, I like what that fat mascot is wearing or that fat Lubbock mascot. You're not going to be impressed. Maybe. No, you, you're not. You can put on a nice suit with half a door? No, no. Fuck a suit, you know man. What? I don't want anything yeah. with belts nice blazer. or loops. I can picture no. you in a, in a suit. No. Yeah. Everything I wear has got to have elastic or uh, – <laughs> no, I'm not wearing a belt. Belts are my worst enemy. Belts and jeans, bro. I mean, that's why I don't wear shoelaces. Fuck shoelaces, bro. Who needs that shit in their life? I don't. How long were you locked up? <laughs> what, what is that marriage <laughs> wow so that was his second divorce right yeah there. no man i just don't yeah dude, you're not gonna be impressed it, now when i start talking and be like you either like me or you don't mm-hmm. but you're not gonna look at me and i like what that fat fuck has on so fuck it who do i gotta impress nobody yeah, whether i, like I meet that. with my kids principals or teachers i'm going as is mm-hmm. like may said do rag and tims but i'm not black so i wear crocs yeah. and fedoras right and so fedoras. yeah dude i like that it's your yeah. own style yeah. there's some point in your life i guess when you just don't give a shit don't anymore. give a shit dude yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 what's that's happening. a great point i mean if i had a full head of hair like if i then maybe i would give a shit but i don't man yeah. i started losing my hair when i was 22 21 mm-hmm. oh, really? yeah well yeah divorce and uh, Wait, future you were, onset diabetes. You were and, divorced at 21? I got married at 17, bro. Wait, you have diabetes too? I no, 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 not yet. <laughs> not yet. Future, not yet. future oh, onset. You, yeah, yeah. You're it, looking I'm, forward eventually. to it. That's well, what yeah, it's yeah, an yeah. inevitability, bro. It's like death. I mean, am I going to get it? Yeah, no, it's no, just a matter of when. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, like, like you know, diabetes. I think I'm going to start saying it like the Southerners, right? Diabetes. Yeah. That sounds hip. Maybe I might put a different spin on it. I don't know. Let's call it something else other than diabetes. What else can you call it? Excessive sugar in your blood? <laughs> I don't know. No, let's get technical here. Dude. Calm down with all that science shit. Cupcakes. Yeah, but I was... <laughs> You're such a no, sweetheart. That's why. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, but I was... Yeah, I got married at 17. I got married in high school to... Uh, yeah. I met my, my ex-wife in the seventh grade. My cousin introduced us. And they were going to this club. And you were seventeen when she was in seventh grade. No, 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 no. no I'm not your she, typical. I'm not your typical in kindergarten. <laughs> no. So man. now you hate that cousin for the same reason that he's the one. What, what, no, both so, of you so, so this was in the seventh grade. Mm-hmm. We were on seventh grade. They were going to this club in Lubbock called West LA, right? And I'm cool. and, and I believe this is what I was told. The club was called West LA. Because it was in the west part of Lubbock area, right? That's that's what I. It makes that's, sense. It does, mm-hmm. and people always laugh. In the, no, but that's that's what I think. That's why I was told it was called West LA. So my cousin and my ex-wife in the seventh grade, we were, in, you know, I just met her. Hey, Paul, this is uh, this is so and so. This is my friend, and I'm not gonna say her name. It's it's like oh, saying, it's, like, say it's it. like saying you Bloody Mary. So I'm not gonna say yeah, You're not gonna <laughs> say her name. Come on. No, no, we're I'm gonna not, you're you gonna say, leave us alone. If I say her name three times, she's gonna pop out of that fucking mirror. And she's <laughs> you gonna don't take say half. It. You don't say it. She already took <laughs> it. Just the first name. <laughs> you don't have to use the last name. <laughs> she's gonna take another. No, half. because then she people will see. Quarter. Okay, her name is Andrea, right? So okay, there you go. Andrea, Andrea, uh, Andrea, the devil is what we called her. Oh my! I couldn't, I couldn't see the horns because she did a good job of hiding him with a poofy hair. You know, you you pick yes out. Anyways. <laughs> so so yeah, I met whenever my cousin said hey Paul this is Andre Andre this is Paul and then started talking and we were talking for years off and on the phone and then finally in high school mm-hmm. but what what I should have done is when my cousin said uh, Paul this is Andre Andre this is Paul as soon as my cousin turned around to see me I should have just punched her laid her out punched my ex- future ex-wife wiped my hands of it I'm like I'm done man that chapter's yeah. done with you end it right there just like people say with Nazi Germany Right? You always say, <laughs> if you had a chance to kill baby Hitler, would you do it? Yeah, if I had a chance to kill that relationship, would I? Yes. You yeah, punch but- my cousin and you punch my future ex-wife. You lay him out and you're done. But then you go to jail. Well, that's worth it, bro. Then, you, then you're like Chris Brown, except you ain't got no music. Yeah, but that's uh, jail is like it's a... It's like a badge of honor with Mexicans, you know. It's like a given. Yeah, that's why. You, that's why you don't like shoestrings. <laughs> exactly. Got used to it. Got used to it like ramen noodles. <laughs> so yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> How old was I, man? I was seventh grade, dude. You should, you should have just shown her your Crocs. You would have I left immediately. I don't wear Crocs back then. I was wearing like, <laughs> what did I have on? Uh, Vans? No, like Chucks and uh, Pumas. Pumas. That was yeah, right around there. Of course, everyone wore Nikes, mm-hmm. but uh, oh no, Adidas. I had on Adidas, the old school Adidas. Yeah, and Shell some, toe. some Daki. Well, I guess not that old school then. Oh. The, <laughs> there was it was a uh, it was the nineties. There was the nineties ones. 
with some mm-hmm. some khakis, some dickies, and I just uh, I just picture you as a cholo. In seventh grade. Yeah, I was a wannabe thug, man. Yeah, I yeah. kicked it with a lot of with a lot of dudes that were uh, you know badasses, and mm-hmm. I was always scared shitless, but I had to try to be tough. So I could, I mean, I couldn't. I was gonna get me wrong. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna try to, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing, yeah. but I'm probably gonna get laid out too. But <laughs> but I, but what what my superpower was is the shit talking, dude. Mm-hmm. People are like, oh, no, that's a, that's a pussy. That. But but I did. You want to punk him to the point where like, God, this dude's fucking crazy, man. I don't want shit from this dude in junior high. Yeah, so I mean, I was down. I was gonna we're gonna fight. I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked, mm-hmm. but I'm gonna get back up and ask for another ass whooping. That's I, I was just very determined, but at the wrong things, you know. That's good. I mean, it's good. Just apply it when you once you apply it to the right things. Right, and I'm still looking for that. I'm still looking. <laughs> I'm still looking for that. I apply it to food, uh, <laughs> to snacks, cupcakes. Uh, yeah. Diabetes. Diabetes. Yeah. That's uh, you know, runs in my family. So. Yeah, it's the same here. Maybe man. we maybe we can get it together. Yours, Rafa? No, thank you. No, no. Uh, not yet. Congratulations. Not yet. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Alcohol, nah. maybe, but. Uh, See everything. Is no. Everything Rafa does, he shows off, man, with his hair and his buns. Hey, look, I got a full head of hair, and I have a whole bit about that too, man. He wears these these nice shirts, buttoned down, and tucked in, nice belt, boots that match, and the iron and <laughs> boots that match. You know, boots that match his belt and everything. As if that's an anomaly. Well, it is. Yeah, like that's <laughs> weird, right? Well, I know it should I, nothing should have matched, by the way, <laughs> according to the, why the you hell. got boots that match. First yeah. of all, I wear I wear I, I used to wear a belt. I mean, I own a belt, but I don't use it. <laughs> Just one. Right, it's brown because I have brown shoes. Like you see, people wear a black belt with brown shoes. That's I mean, what are you thinking, dude? It's yeah, yeah. It, it's wrong. Okay, on which side of the spectrum you are? First, you don't like that they match, and now you're like, no, yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm upset that oh, you jealous. have a long head of hair. Mm-hmm. You're just showing off. Everything you do is show off. Hey, look, mm-hmm. I'm I'm older than you, and and I got that's showing sure off because I'm older. And, 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 and I'm in shape. Again, I'm getting confused. And I'm in shape. And if you and weren't put, so full of yourself, you'd be younger. Yeah, and I put creases. Yeah. I put creases. That's my, in my fault pants. right there. I should be younger. And I have shirts that button down, and I'm not wearing Crocs. I, yeah, I think just it's just. Off. I think he just has like a, a certain level of confidence, you know. Well, I got confidence. That's why I'm fucking wearing Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I don't have any confidence. But, but, That's but why I have to dude, make myself look good. This otherwise, dude's just uh, showing off. There's there's uh there's this girl Selena, Selena and her wife. Uh, well, this is not the Selena. <laughs> well, they're both Mexican. Uh, so Selena oh, and her a, wife. She's a comic. Yeah. So yeah, so, yeah. so Selena and her wife Kelsey. Kelsey is the sharpest dressed person at our comedy stuff, man. There's no, oh, yeah. there's no reason. She puts all what of us. There's no reason. There's, she not likes to look, to look good. She, she likes to look good. Right from the boots and everything is all creased and folded properly in the sleeves and nice. it's it's a sh- it should be one of us looking that sharp. Not me, but but every time I see her, it's like man, it's it's upsetting. It's oh, I'm sorry that it's upsetting. I, I, I do Kudos, uh, have Kelsey. to believe that uh, I like to look good for the audience. Mm-hmm. I believe that I have to have that respect for the audience yeah. to, to look for good, sure. not for just sure. uh, show up like I just <laughs> got out of <laughs> bed and uh, I'm all hangover and shit and I'm going to say whatever the fuck's coming to my mind, whether you like it or not. I don't know. It, it's just we have, we're different. We're yeah. very different, Paul. Well, and I guess that's what... And uh, I do like Paul, by the way. I, I love Paul. I always liked him since the beginning. I mean, we ain't got to uh, lie on the podcast. Since, uh, no, no, I'm not lying. I'm, I, I'm completely, you know what? Let me put it this way, okay? He makes me look good. <laughs> he's next to me. He makes, I'm fuckable automatically. I, yeah, when he's not, I'm fuckable true. right away. As soon as he shows out, I'm, yeah, I'm on the other side of the fence, man. He I look good now. Up, you know? That means yeah. a lot. That means a lot to me, man. Thanks. <laughs> you're, you're, hell, of, hell of a wingman. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, I guess they're going to be so repulsed by what I say and shocked. Like anything else, given what coming behind me or after me, is gonna, they're going to look good, man. That's my job, dude. Hey, you did really well after that guy with the Crocs. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this one dude tried to make fun of me with Crocs. It, this was the other day, and, and, and this is in Hobbs, in Lovington, and I was doing the show. And I was talking about something. He's like, yeah, or if you wear Crocs. And I said, I, I do wear Crocs. He's like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> I, you, it's not an insult. It's not an yeah. insult. Oh, Paul, you wear pants with elastic. Uh, yeah, okay, I do. Paul, you're fat and you're thinning, and you have thinning hair. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure what point you're trying to make. You're just complimenting. Me. <laughs> I look, I look at all those as compliments. <laughs> I don't know what you can tell me that that will insult me. What if someone is like you dress really well? 
Well, then they're a fucking liar. I don't want anything to do with them, man. I don't need that. Is that an insult? Well, you're insulting yourself because I see right through that shit, dude. Don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't want that kind of negativity around me, man. I want positivity. I want truthfulness. That's what I want. Be, be well, to, to tell you the truth, to be very honest, there was one time we were at, uh, I believe, Nick's, right there by the Overton Hotel, mm-hmm. and there was this this blonde girl. She was beautiful, but she was drunk as shit. Mm-hmm. And she was with her friend. She was bringing her out of the bar because she was way too drunk. And she was saying, I'll fuck anybody in this bar except for the guy in the Crocs. <laughs> so, like I said, I become very fuckable as soon as he's except for the, guy, except for the guy in the Crocs. <laughs> Very specific. But I got a yeah. hand job from her male friend, though, man. So, yeah, she wasn't going to do anything, but her friend did, bro. You don't want to roll over and see Crocs next to that. That's, the, <laughs> that's when you know you made a mistake. Crocs are <laughs> Crocs are very, they're very multifunctional. Well, we got stuck in some mud. My wife, I was, we're on some lease road. My wife is a mobile notary, right? So I was taking her on this lease road oh, over there cool. south of La Mesa. Yeah. Now there was a job. Well, it, yeah, there's a lot of stuff, man. Um, Hell yeah. A, a, a lot of weird stuff like that. Um, how many pair of uh, cups do you own, by the way? Well, Different I just, colors? Well, no. I remember I had those, How many do you have? I had those Texas 17. Tech ones. <laughs> how many do you have? Just, uh, on me right now? No, 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 no. Not on you. How many, <laughs> how your many collection? crocodiles have died? <laughs> so you could have a What's your collection? Full. You got like five pairs? <laughs> <laughs> you no, no, seem I, to like them. Well, I do. I just okay, I had those Texas Tech ones, and I left mm-hmm. I left well, one in my pickup. I left them in my pickup in, in the bed. Mm-hmm. And one of them was in the shade and the other was in the sun the one that was in the oh, sun no. it shrank of course yeah. it did you remember those shrink gums or i forget what they were called you put them in the oven you mm-hmm. you would color on them you put them in the oven and then the sh- you don't remember that because you're whoa, from whoa, mexico whoa, whoa. You put shoes in the oven? no, no. They, they they send them to mexico too. shrink them <laughs> you, don't remember that you, you would color okay like a piece of plastic yeah. you would color like map colors on the pens on the on the plastic mm-hmm. It was clear. So let's say it was He Man because there were He Man. Are you stuff. talking about actual shoes? No, shrinkums. Shrinkums. Look them up. Look up shrinkums. All right. So it's a plastic sheet. Man, and he's would, getting a lot of education today. You are like, getting a lot of education. You would, stuff that he didn't know how well, because to Because he has a lot of millennials with, on, man. He has yeah. a lot of young kids. You don't have old people like us. You don't have an authentic Mexican, a fake Mexican, and we're talking guys, about shrinkums and Crocs. You, you guys got, aren't even old. You got shrinkums up there. So so you color on the, pl- on the plastic, on this sheet. Mm-hmm. You color them up and then you cut it out. You set it in the oven on a cookie sheet, and it shrinks, and and it's it's the colors are more vibrant, and it's just it's pretty neat. I don't it was a way I don't know looking at it now thinking about it now. What is it? It's kind of wasteful. What's the functionality of it? Nothing. Nothing. Just, just to look at. Like, did you uh, find it shrink ums? Yeah, but my computer's slow. You know, uh, so, I got an old ass laptop. I'm, oh, on, yeah. I'm on target right now. I remember you talking about it. Your laptop, <laughs> but. That's, there's there's no point to the story. It's just shrink them. I can't even I can't even find them. Google's like that doesn't exist. You know, so. Shrink and then is it U M S? Oh, maybe that's why I put E M S. Nah, dude. We, no. Shrink ums. Yeah, this is the eighties, man. Right, dude. <laughs> that's the way. As we didn't know how to spell back then. Bro, this isn't. Have, it's not pulling anything up. It says what are shrinking gums? Well, tell them, tell Google to go fuck itself. <laughs> You're older than Google, man. That's, <laughs> Jesus, uh, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> you had shrinkums in Mexico, dude. No shit. A lot of the stuff that it was that it was made in yeah. the United States it was always sent to Mex- to Mexico. Everything like toys, fashion, but music, y- everything just just uh, people love it. But you had to put the shrinkums in the community brick oven in the middle of the town square. But we still have an oven. I guess so freaking hot. Dude. You just put it on the <laughs> sidewalk. It's, it's, <laughs> it's 120 <laughs> degrees right there in Sonora. Are you kidding me? No, you're making- still, you don't need an oven, dude. <laughs> Slim out there. <laughs> you put them there next to the bricks you just made <laughs> for yeah. the houses. <laughs> I saw this one documentary where they were making bricks for was it in Egypt or something? And this, it, you would make your own bricks. You get the mud and he'd put them in there. And mm-hmm. this guy had a whole shout out to uh, Jews. Yeah, I don't know if they're Jews, but close enough, man. I mean, they're over there. Are you talking about the Bible now? <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I you, said, you said Egypt, so I immediately thought. Well, yeah, yeah, but they didn't have documents back in the day, so no, I no, it, it, it was that recreation kind of. A, but it was, it was just this thing. guy who was making these bricks to. Uh-huh. They usually use mud, yeah, uh, yeah, water, yeah. and uh, straw or something like that. So uh-huh. this guy knows what I'm talking about. You know, what I'm yeah. talking about Rafa. yeah. <laughs> I have an idea. Rafa's bricks. Yeah. <laughs> you were an entrepreneur. Sounds like a drug dealer. Yeah, <laughs> but with mud, yeah, that's bricks. That's more like it. <laughs> hey, how do you say entrepreneur in Spanish? Is there is there a phrase? Was there a word for that? Drug dealer. <laughs> Drug dealer. That's an entrepreneur in Spanish. About to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Narcotraficante. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a couple of words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. So, how long uh, have you lived here? 
Did you move uh, straight to Lubbock? I live in Lubbock for uh, five years. I live more than five years. Nice. Yeah. Were you doing any comedy in Mexico? No, not at all. Oh, that'd, no. be, that'd be cool. Well, I, I when I was fifteen, I did like a what was it a somebody's birthday? I'll get out the mic and mm-hmm. I'd tell a few jokes, but it wasn't like this like mm-hmm. nowadays. Uh, I lived in Mexico until I was eighteen. Then I moved to LA for about ten years. Ooh. Then I moved to Miami for another year. Then Damn. I ended up in Orlando, where I worked for Mickey Mouse. Hell I worked yeah. for Walt Disney World for for a little more than what, ten what'd years. What did you do for Mickey Mouse? Well, first of all, I used to be a salesman, so I started uh, working for Walt Disney World uh, as uh, what they call mer- uh, department merchantainment department. We put merchandise and entertainment together, but then I discovered the security gets pay more money and they do a lot less. So I said, sign me in for that. <laughs> I'm a big guy. I can, uh, you know, hold my own. And then when I was in security, I discovered they have a, an elite group called uh, PCOs, Plain Close Operatives. It's kind of undercover security. Mm. This was after 9-11 and we did a lot of surveillance, counter surveillance, nice. anti-terrorist tactics, uh, Get those Disney theft, World terrorists. And, and we also, <laughs> oh, well, you tried to protect the magic. And, um, <laughs> the magic. That's what they call it. And uh, we did a lot what? of uh, um, security for all the, the VIPs, all the personalities, so any famous people you can imagine from Hollywood all the nice. way to the president of the United States. Or, Have you met any famous people? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm terrible with names, but yeah. Describe them. Was one of them Honey, was one of them honey Boo Boo? <laughs> yeah. Honey oh, Boo Boo, that was one of them. Snip. Uh, Justin Bieber, Katy Perry, uh, uh, what's his name, Michael Jordan. Uh, is he related the, the to the Weagles? You know what I mean? It's Bill just, Cosby? No, no, Bill Cosby. Michael Jackson? No. Did you say the Beagles? No. The Wiggles. Oh, the Wiggles. Yeah, the Wiggles. <laughs> Aziz Ansari? Who? I'm just naming sexual. Kevin Hart? <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. no. Kevin Spacey? <laughs> Kevin Spacey. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it was a great job. I, I can that tell that cool. I, that I was uh, pretty much in, on for ten years on vacation. Pretty much that's how it goes. And what about that club? Is there is that? Have you been in that club that that secret club where the movie stars and celebrities take their kids? Illuminati? No, well, close, but it's club something at Disney Disney World, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Man, it's like Club Thirteen. He's or not allowed to talk about it. Thirty one. <laughs> uh, well, you don't know. I did sign the papers, but yeah. <laughs> no. Can you talk about? There's a few things that I'm not. Ah, you're full of shit. Well, then, you know, you know the whole thing, <laughs> the whole thing where people say, "Well, if I tell you, I have to kill you." And then my response from the military, well, why don't you just tell me a little bit and beat the shit out of me? <laughs> that's that's that's, good. that's tempting right there. I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> He's just going to beat the shit out of me and say, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe next time I'll tell you. For real, you, you signed a non-disclosure? On the podcast. <laughs> you, saw, you signed a non-disclosure agreement? Yes, sir. No shit for how many years? You have to. You have to. Did you have to sell your soul to Mickey Mouse? Yeah. Not really, but they, they do a lot of brainwashing, i got to tell you. Just, oh, they uh, do? Did you see, yeah, did they, you see they, Walt they Disney's you Frozen Head? Stuff. No, it doesn't exist. Oh. Does yeah. Walt Disney really I, hate I did went to the tunnels and certain secret areas and stuff like that, but no, not nice. head. I was looking for it, though. <laughs> I heard it so many times, and yeah, I couldn't find it. That's too bad. So I went from the happiest place on earth to the so-called friendly city in America. Where? That's what the Lubbock. That's oh, what yeah. the market. Someone, some genius in marketing. Hub City, the friendliest. That's city. what they call it. Yeah. Hub City. Yeah, Although there's a shooting every week or whatnot. I've I guess never, it's I've never heard friendly for Texas, city. but it's, yeah, it's a. It's that's shooting, how they sell it. It's shooting out of love. All right, so it's still, <laughs> oh, it's okay. a friendly shooting. Okay. We call it friendly fire over here. That's my homie. I no, just, come I on, just shoot at him. We love him. It's love. <laughs> that's how we show love in Lubbock. Wow. On the South Side. Love gun. Old South Side. Man, so you did sign it. How many years did, is that NDA, is that non-disclosure agreement? How many years did you sign that? Did they say anything? Yeah, as far as I know, it doesn't have a date. It's got to, man. It doesn't. I don't remember. I mean, you read the paper, you know, for like Let two me minutes see the paper. We'll call Mickey. I don't have it. We'll call Mickey. <laughs> they right have it. We have Mickey on the hotline. Yeah. I'm telling uh-huh. you, you know, these companies know how do they protect you better shut the fuck up. Like yeah. <laughs> I got people in Lubbock. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dude, would people... Okay, so here's another thing I heard about Disney World, that they bring cats in at night. Did you see that happen? What is that? What they do you bring mean? bring cats at night? Yeah. <laughs> so they have about. these, apparently there's, 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 okay, so there's no cats. There's no animals there during the day at Disney World. And at, whenever everything closes, I don't know if this is an urban legend or not, but when everything closes, these, the, 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 some of the workers let cats in and run around the place to get rid of the mice and that's, 
and 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 no, sorry, they, no, they probably no, want no. the mice there like no, that's no. mickey mouse's well, grandson no, but uh, <laughs> yeah that's discrimination no already. but you, you haven't heard that story no, about no, the no. cats no no uh, we used to joke around that at night we let the dogs uh, in the park to they let the dogs some, out <laughs> yeah we let dogs out just to make sure there's there's no one hiding in you know there's so many places to hide inside the park mm-hmm. uh but now have you ever caught people hiding hmm? you ever caught people hiding in yes this? hondurans no 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 were, were they getting freaky they were white Yes. Oh, you said you, yeah. well. There's a couple. Of, there's a couple of stories that I got you for that I got for you. Uh, my first one is uh, what I'm known about my tiger story. This was this was when I was working in security mm-hmm. for Disney World. I was a rookie. I was wearing what they called blues, so basically uniform, uh, security mm-hmm. uniform. And uh, since I didn't have any seniority, I ended up working at, at the Animal Kingdom Park on the third shift, which is at the, the night, and. Usually at night you work with what they call a skeleton crew, which is very few Dead personal. People. No, no, very few people, <laughs> very few personal. Because uh, usually every area has uh, one or two secure officers, but this one mm-hmm. at night is, is just very few of us. But that particular night we were very shorthanded. Yeah. So there was another guy, another secure officer, and me. The other guy was since he had more senior, he's gonna take the, the vehicle, the jeep, and he was gonna patrol the front of the park in the parking lot. I got the whole park all by myself. So as I'm walking to the Afri- Africa area, which is in the very back. Hey, 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 calm down. Why is Africa in the back? <laughs> Why is it going to be in the I back? I don't know. That's what <laughs> they put it. I didn't <laughs> sign that shit. Rosa Parks didn't. Yeah, sign come on, man. Shit. Come on, man. <laughs> but Outcast. It, anyway, as soon as I'm walking the bridge that, uh, that is going from the Discovery area to the uh, Africa area, I can see there's a storm coming. Mm-hmm. So I check out all my lockups and all the doors and the rest to make sure nothing's on fire or whatnot. And then I start working to the Asia area. Once I get to the Asia area, the storm is on top of me, basically. So it's raining, thunder, lightning. The lights are flickering. The wind is pushing against you. Mm-hmm. And I got this little flash, this double A little flashlight. And I'm at a place that is called the Maharaja Jungle Trek. Okay, and it looks like a like a jungle, basically. Yeah. And this is very good at making things look like jungles. It's Tarzan, I guess. Asian jungle. <laughs> Correct. Okay. So I'm going through there, and then uh, I know that because I know the park a little bit. I'm worrying by this tiger area. But when I get to the tiger area, I, I hear the the most scary sound I ever heard in my, in my life. You know when a horror movie, the, 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 the door opens and it screeches, going, yeah. well, you can multiply that by 10 because these are the tiger gates. These are like the Jurassic Park gates, you know, the one that keeps the dinosaurs. Ac- there's actual tigers in Disney World? Yes. Oh, I've never at the Animal Kingdom Park, yes. I didn't know they had real they have all, It's kind of like a zoo, although they say it's not a zoo. It is. The most okay. scary sound was uh, someone was yelling, Beto for Senate. Beto for Senate. No, no, no. Come no, on, no, man. Talk. That was, I'm that you was you a late one, but come on. When, when this gate opened, it <laughs> just... Wave. It, I Then that's when I felt the tiger breathing in, ba- the, in the back of my neck. Even I felt one of the whiskers poking me right here on the shoulder. Whoa, it was that close to you? Uh, I... I've been in many situations. I've been in many fights. I've been stopped several times. Mm-hmm. I've been shot at in three different countries. I, I live in L.A. and all, with all the gangs, the Crips and the Bloods, the, the Mara Salvatrucha, and La Calle 13, 18th Street. Chupacabra. I, every, <laughs> Chupacabra can suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I went to the Rodney King riots where the whole, the biggest the metropolis was on fire and it was a chaos, like anarchy, like you wouldn't fucking believe. Yeah. No problem. I used to be a rope climber. Fear was never a factor for me. But when a fucking tiger is bringing that back your neck, mm. uh, and the only thing you got is little flashlight, very little hope to survive this. It takes a different kind of person, you know. What I mean, someone with very special skills mm. and very like good Neeson. underwear, right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> like Liam Neeson from Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, it must have been just probably like two seconds, but for me it was like an eternity. And I was thinking, what do I do? Do I turn on the flashlight? Do I throw the flashlight? Do I run? Do I climb a tree? Do I play dead? No, that's not a bear. Fuck. I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Well, like I said, after a couple of seconds, I just got enough courage to say, no, fuck this. And I you turn around. Beat that tiger's ass. No, I turn around to face the tiger. Mm-hmm. That's when I discovered that it was a small palm tree just going like this. Ah, you like, must. Did you really <laughs> set us up for that? Did yeah. you set us up for that whole no, thing? No, that's. <laughs> I saw, that's exactly what so happened to me. How dare you? I was a rookie. That is not cool. I didn't know that at night they put the targets in a different culture. <laughs> you said you so they can clean the fucking exhibit area. You I didn't, didn't know. I was scared as shit, dude. You got me so hyped for and that. You know what? How dare you? Now that I remember, it wasn't just one, one tiger. There's like six of them, motherfucker. 
And I was in the middle of nowhere, and I knew there was no backup. I knew that they'll uh, either find my flashlight, that'll be the most they can ever find. Yeah, it was a palm. It was a palm leaf being waved by some Asian woman. <laughs> that so that, so that's one of my Disney World stories. Uh, the other one is called Gay Days because uh, that's a festival. Yeah, they have. It's not gay at all, right? No, no, like no. This one, no, no. This one is M. super Night gay. Shyamalan no, no. Ass. old English version. <laughs> very is, unhappy. No, this is super gay. You felt a pantry breathing down your neck. Let me I'm put it this so way. Upset. Gay Days is an event that happens every year, and I believe it's Disney a, World. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, about yeah, yeah, around yeah. June and July, right, this, somewhere around there. Like and it's Pride about month? a week or two weeks of, of nothing but events for gay people, and they rent the whole park, and they usually wear like red shirts and. Uh, Sorry to me. And they do all kinds of stuff, dude. They they got volleyball contests, they got uh, drag queen contests, swallowing, sucking, they con- whatever, all kind of contests. That, I mean, it, they go bananas. Let me put it that Slam way. Slam okay? poetry. What do they do with those bananas? Uh, they do all kinds <laughs> of things, tanks. dude. I'm telling you. Uh, but that's the thing that uh, during those days, they, sometimes they rent the whole park. So they, they close kind of early for the regular folks, and they kick mm. them out, and then that's hey, it. Hey, they work hey. until 7. <laughs> and then after that, they have a bean convention. It's a lot of drinking and a lot of things going on. <laughs> and, the but at one point, there was one incident that happened in a resort near Disney World wow. where uh, – Bless you. Thank you. This gentleman was – well, you can call him gentleman. He was walking around, <laughs> and, and he saw in, uh, in a hotel room the, the blinds were open in one of the rooms. The door was semi-open. Mm-hmm. Uh, the light was on. There was a naked guy laying down mm-hmm. on the bed. You've just assumed two genders. Who is else is hard right now? <laughs> no, no. It was just, okay, again, go ahead. it's supposed to be gay day, so that, mm-hmm. that should give you a clue. So this guy go, went ahead, went inside, and helped himself. Helped himself to what? Some cookies? <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody's some, cookie got some broken. Pound, that, some yeah. cake. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So anyway... Uh, what the cops tell us that is uh, this gentleman who was laying down mm-hmm. naked, all of a sudden he realized that other guy was not his boyfriend. All of a sudden? Yeah. That's Somehow like after t- like 10, 20 minutes or something weird. like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this guy is bigger or whatever. I don't know. He turns he around. AIDS. He did one of those uh, 360 you know, degrees yeah. that turn yeah. like the exorcist <laughs> kind of thing. He's facing the guy. So he's fighting him off him. And then his boyfriend shows up. Now he sees two naked Guys, his boyfriend having sex with this other guy, whatever, or fighting, and he doesn't know he's cheating on him, or mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and the guy's telling him, you know, he's trying to rape me, or he was mm-hmm. raping me, or whatever. They're starting to fight. There's blood everywhere. Somebody called oh, the man. cops, and that's a devil's three way. That's just a menage a trois right there, but <laughs> yeah, it but like a good time. something went wrong in the menage a trois, I guess. <laughs> but uh, when the cops show up, they divide him. They they trying to get a story and uh everyone's erect <laughs> can you imagine? even the cops <laughs> the gay the cops cops are they don't want to admit day. it but yeah this is kind of hot <laughs> cops have to cuff their penis <laughs> hey guys so down. when they interview the so-called victim the victim says you know i thought it was my boyfriend i don't know this guy he was raping me and then my boyfriend showed up and he didn't believe me and then we started fighting and uh the boyfriend said i don't know what happened i was there and i don't know he was cheating on me he was telling me he was raped he was being raped and the other guy's like, I just want to get out of here. You know, this is a gate code for, like, when, when you leave the door open, your blinds open, and you're laying down naked. It's like, go ahead and help yourself. You can do whatever the fuck you want my ass. like a gay Man, buffet. Exactly. That explains like, a lot. With exactly. Me. So that's what he was <laughs> arguing. But then they asked the other gay guys, it's like, is that true? Is that gay code for go ahead and do whatever you want? And Every bathhouse like, no. I've been to. <laughs> and they say, no, no, that's not true. At the, at the end of the... The night, the guys did confess, yeah, I was just, that's not gay code for nothing. And uh, <laughs> I was just horny, and, and, and I also have AIDS. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh. So that's that's why, that story, you should call it either gay days mm-hmm. or assault with a deadly weapon. But if you call it HIV now, ah, oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I have AIDS. He waited till the end of the night to be like, I have AIDS. <laughs> yeah. And so does your boyfriend. But it depends on what kind of AIDS it is. I mean, if it's that Magic Johnson AIDS, that Those fluffy AIDS, AIDS. That's, a, AIDS. that's good AIDS, that's man. Most, yeah, that's Those AIDS quality, make you a definitely. billionaire. That's a good, so. that's a good AIDS. That's yeah. a, I mean, if I... Well, I've heard this on the podcast the other day. They were talking about what would you rather have? Would you rather have herpes or AIDS? Well, I don't know, man. AIDS don't sound too bad. They got medicine for it. But then again, I guess you got to be rich, too. They got, they got medicine for herpes. What do you mean? Yeah. What's the downside of having herpes over AIDS? What's the name of that medicine? Let me write this down real quick. <laughs> I don't know, but I heard of it. Some medicine. Hold on. This is for, uh, for a friend. What's the name of it? Yeah, for a friend. Rafa, what's uh-uh. the name of it? You know it. Matt, I know you do. Do you remember that Magic, that magic Johnson? Well, you know, you don't. Syphilis. No. 
<laughs> nah, yeah, do you remember <laughs> and syphilis? Do you remember that Magic Johnson? Well, you probably none of y'all do. There was this Magic Johnson joke. I remember Magic whenever Johnson. he got. Were you here whenever he, he got wasn't AIDS? playing for the Lakers? He was, mm-hmm. yeah, and then he went off. Were you here whenever he got? Whenever, I was in L.A. You were in L.A. Okay. Uh-huh. Do you remember that Magic Johnson joke about what do you call uh, Magic Johnson in a wheelchair? Rollades. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's such an old joke in elementary. I never heard that one. No, never heard that either. That's awesome. It's, it's, That's it's, it, this was in elementary. We were talking about this, this man. Yeah, Rollades, dude. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> even though it's HIV, so technically yeah. he doesn't have AIDS. He's got the fluffy AIDS, the good AIDS. A- HIV is the good AIDS. So just straight AIDS is worse. Well, magic. Whatever Magic Johnson has, that's the good stuff right there. I don't know. But it's, it's, but it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's only the good stuff because of how much money he has. I guess you're right. So, it's just like the whole Me Too movie. It's only the good stuff because you, he's not dead. Yeah. Well, that's it, what it is. Like he's whole, still alive. He's that's still the only extremely thing. healthy. The whole yeah. Me Too movement only applies for rich white women. It's not for everybody else. It's just rich white women who are actresses. It don't, it don't, it don't mean shit to anybody else, man. It, it don't apply to them. Yeah, not everyday yeah. people over here. It's just for rich white bitches in L.A. and New York. That's it. That's true, huh? That's it. Yeah. If you're, if you're, if you're middle class or maybe upper middle class, maybe college bitches too or females. Let me stop calling them bitches. Females. You can say bitches. Whatever, this man. This is a bitches podcast. Yeah. So. Do you have no idea how much hate mail you're going to get now from these <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Never, don't, have awesome. the, don't ever have that white racist motherfucker on there. <laughs> the Palestinian, the Jews, <laughs> the females, Everybody's the Hondurans, yeah, but, uh, the but, croc. Manufacturer, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, he doesn't represent us. And I heard, well, Although of, he's getting, they, they're getting a lot of publicity from him. <laughs> they really are. <laughs> You're the poster child for oh, crops. Uh, I on, love this, that. Hold on, this guy's spewing so much hate, so much shit. He's got a, he's got an Israel T-shirt on, some Crocs <laughs> and a hat, and he's not white. <laughs> I'm not Puerto Rican either, so whoever's thinking that, go fuck yourself. You man. can pull off a fedora well, though. Not a lot of people can do that. Thanks, but I appreciate that. I wear a lot of dumb hats. I'm thinking about getting a... I would like to wear a Captain Crunch type hat. The Yeah. That sounds cool. It's, they only have it no, in it costumes. Doesn't. Dude, that would be badass. <laughs> would Fucking be killer, bad? man. Why would that be killer? D- me walking in with a Captain Crunch hat, like, ironically, dude. but I'm sporting it for real. With, that would distract you from the rest with, of the style, <laughs> dude. You that would be with, super cool. With Crocs and shorts? <laughs> yeah, I wear, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, so, so, in the winter, it's I wear... It's a fashion statement, that's for sure. <laughs> See, these are, these are khakis right here with the elastic at the bottom, so they're basically like sweats. Normally, I wear sweats. And in the summer, it's basketball shorts, mm. all different colored basketball shorts, and dumb T-shirts. And then, but yeah, I go I, on stage. I don't remember who was wearing gold. Gold, gold yeah, yeah, gold shorts. And then that I have that. Like, wow. I have that light blue baby that T-shirt that says bright. "Thoughts and Prayers" on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Anthony Jesenik. Uh, or not related. No, but he no. criticized me because my boots matched my <laughs> belt. Okay, I, I just wanted to make a comparison right He's there with a gold boots. freaking pair of shorts. <laughs> you and your matching boots. Well, yeah, my pink ones were dirty, man. What do you want me to wear, dude? <laughs> yeah, they are gold. It's a very bright gold. But the shirt I wear is the blue one, and it has it has thoughts and prayers with with gold on it. So it matches. So it matches. You're like yeah, a, like a Denver Nugget. Yeah, like that. But thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Whatever it is, man. Like I was thinking about T-shirts that I want to get. Like I like a Roseanne Barr T-shirt, right? Yeah. I'd yeah. also like to get a Ted Cruz T-shirt just to have a Ted Cruz. I want to get that. Uh, there's like a Dragon Energy shirt that has Kanye and Trump on it. I oh think yeah. It That's. <laughs> You're not gonna see that. I also want a Bill Cosby T-shirt or Bill Cosby sweater. That'd be nice. But see, I don't wear a cac. I don't really wear jeans to wear a Bill Cosby sweater. It needs to be like a uh, a sex move, like a Bill Cosby sweater. Oh, yeah, like, hey, if you wear that, you know what's going on. Is that going to be, like, false advertisement on you, or <laughs> that's the real deal? Is that what you're representing now? What, what? Dude, that's a good point. If it happened in the 80s, it doesn't count. <laughs> that's a good point, man. Where it's like, I got roofies. Uh, I don't know, what are you trying to I say I was with 17, she was in seventh grade. <laughs> it's Where okay, a, we got married. If a dude is wearing a Bill Cosby sweater, he's sending out a message. Like, you know, we, you hear people say, well, if a woman is dressing provocatively, mm-hmm. she's sending out a message yeah, as well. Yeah. I like that, man. So why'd you drink with the guy on the Cosby sweater? Right, yeah. He, he's wearing a Cosby sweater. <laughs> yeah. If he roofie he's, you, then yeah. it's a reason. He's though. advertising. He told you. Shit, hey. Yeah, that's a good point, dude. Cosby sweaters for everybody, man. <laughs> you know what's still interesting to me is wife Tell beaters. Me. Yeah. I'm we just... still have an article of clothing called wife beaters. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Those that's going out of style. I don't wear that. I'm too it, fat to wear that. It's funny because uh, when I, I have a drinking shirt that has mm-hmm. all kinds of drinks and uh, Bloody Mary beer, just all kinds of oh, yeah, little yeah. drawings. But when, my wife hates it when I wear my wife beater and then my drinking shirt on top mm-hmm. of that. Yeah, she's like, get the hell out of the house <laughs> and don't come back until you're sober and sorry. Yeah, there's 
Yeah, I've seen that shirt. The, the bloody one has Bloody Mary written on mm-hmm. there. <laughs> and you do wear a wife beater under yeah. there. I didn't start calling them wife beaters until I got in the military around white people. Because we just called them muscle shirts. Yeah. That's that's what Mexicans. What do y'all call them? My family called them yeah, muscle you, shirts, too. Yeah, it used to be like that, muscle shirts. Then, like, at one point, in the 80s or somewhere, it changed into white beaters. White, yeah. That's, when, I got, when I got in the military, well, I was always around white boys in, in schools I went to. but So white boys in school and blacks and Mexicans in my neighborhood. But when I joined the military, I found out a lot of different things, like names white people use. He he first learned about anal, right? <laughs> Dude, and I didn't know I didn't know people masturbated like a motherfucker. Dudes masturbated until I joined the military. That's all they talked about is is is, is jacking off. But you never jacked off until the military. <sighs> Yeah, I, it, it's, it's the thing, he's man. So, I'm, I'm, side, I'm, I'm like, not gonna. Not, he's thinking about if the I if I tell you no, if you I give you his the, ring if I give you the, like, if I give you the I honest answer, the, the wheel spinning there. This everybody, is just, I'm not even gonna give you an actual day, a year, or, or tell you how many years ago because you're not gonna believe me. You're you not, put the, the finger in the no wound. No one's gonna on believe me because that was a great when, whenever it's time to have sex, I was already I was having sex at an early age, man. Yeah, dude. So it's if if I tell you, it was a shock for me because I got married at 17. I was having sex years before before that yeah. so i didn't and when i told my homeboy this he didn't believe me this dude i mean uh Fiesel, he's still in the military he's been in 20 years but he, he now he believes me but he didn't at first so you didn't you probably didn't jerk it till like 23 huh uh, yeah right around there dude. <laughs> <laughs> right before you first the world when things were not going so, right it's like okay so now i gotta take it, it on myself it's 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 just and then there's another thing white dudes talk about it's it's like so f- instead of getting uh, from for Mexicans, we say, "Yeah, I, I was drunk or uh, drunk or um, what's another word?" Um, Shit faced. Yeah, but but not even that. We would. There's a certain phrase, and I can't remember what it's used. So for white people, it's tanked, blitzed, obliterated, all this other shit. Mm-hmm. We didn't use those words. Another thing too, they talked about uh, certain phrases like um, "crick," like instead of a creek, I would say "crick." Uh, cr- you know the difference between a creek and a crick. Yeah, there's a creek back there. Uh, it's crick. They say a crick. Who was it, man? Has, it sounds like a gang member. Gosh. Then there's just a bunch of stuff that that I was exposed to when I joined the military. A lot of white stuff that I didn't know about. Mm-hmm. I don't even know how I got started on this, but I've lost my momentum now. <laughs> <laughs> white stuff. <laughs> a lot of white people stuff. Uh, I think we were talking about AIDS. And then- no, no, he asked you. When you start to masturbate, <laughs> come on, that dude, was the question. Let's bring it back to masturbation. That was, yeah, get that back was on. let's question. get back on. You topic. asked me, you didn't know where you were going, or I think, okay. I think we, we, start, we landed. Then you at went to the military. Okay, so the military was what, what talking about going to the military. I was eighteen, right out of high school. A month after I graduated, I was in boot camp. So you were married before you went to the military. Yeah, I'll get married in seventeen in high school. Hardcore, man. hardcore yeah. shit. Well, I'm Mexican, bro. Uh, uh, there's yeah. this other stupid joke I said where. How many kids did you have by seventeen? A one. Oh, so I had so I said it's it's said it's a state law. You're, if you're Mexican, you're required to have a kid before you get out of high school, right? I don't make the rules. I just yeah. follow them, right? So now I have four. I got four kids. Been married twice. Uh, I'm still married now. So I got a 22-year-old with my ex-wife. And, Damn. Well, well, 22. So and then with my wife now, I got a 15-year-old son, 10-year-old daughter, and a 6-year-old son. So my son... my Maybe old, you're older than I thought you were. My two, I'm 39. Oh, okay. 39. But it's, about right. it's the charisma and the masculinity and my charm... You don't see age anymore. You yeah, just see yeah. you see a good yeah. looking, charismatic son of a bitch. Well, good looking is subjective, but yeah. Right, right. right. Well, I mean, yeah. let's, let's not draw straws here, man. <laughs> I totally agree with you on that. So, <laughs> so yeah, man. I got I got four kids, dude. I got it's it's yeah. I'm mesking through and through, man. I'm more mesking than this motherfucker, and he's from Mexico. I doubt it very much. <laughs> I got it kids, very much. but it's different because I take care of my kids, though. Like like Chris Rock said, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. I take care of my motherfucker. <laughs> you try to tell me that I'm not taking care of mine. Pole. Come on now. Yeah, 22. My daughter. Yeah. So my so it's, my kids are all five years apart. So mm-hmm. m- my daughter and son. My old, so they're gonna be this. So next month, my 15 year old and my 10 year old move up a year. So it'll be 22, 16, 11. Hold and up, six. they move up a year. Well, yeah, because it's what birthdays like is what happens. Year? I think that- I don't. Sometimes I think it goes two years, <laughs> leap year. Mm. I don't know how this whole science shit works. Like I told people in the past, whenever you come to me with the science horse shit, and I don't want to hear about your fucking science. I don't want to hear about all this other stuff and technology. No, I want to hear about how fucking mm-hmm. butterflies and they come back in the form of raindrops during the summer. That's what the fuck I want to hear about. Wait, what butterflies? Butterflies. <laughs> raindrops. Butterflies become raindrops. 
That's what I want to hear. I want to hear how they die in the winter. Some <laughs> technology about about your science. Why is about, that what you want to hear? About how they might, because I don't want fucking. I don't want to hear about all this new age shit. I don't need. I don't need that stuff in my life either. Damn it. You no, tell me, you, you know, when you smoke that kind of shit, that's the kind of questions you get. Dude. <laughs> when I I'm smoke what, burrito, fried that's burritos, that's what really matters in your life. <laughs> when I smoke all subs fried burritos, motherfuckers, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. I want butterflies to die and become raindrops. Yeah, well, like, they come back in the form of raindrops in that's spring. Like, yeah, that's what I want like to hear. like a Beatles song. Well, see, see, here's the thing. My son, my son's, my son's a brainiac, right? I call him scientist, and I call him. Uh, it's, it's, he's 15. He's in, in Lubbock High International Baccalaureate Program. He, AP oh, yeah. classes, very uh-huh. smart dude, right? And and one time, one point, my wife said, "Well, son, you might be smarter than us now, but." And I said, "Hold on, hold on, uh, no. If he's smarter than us now, there's no going back. That that ship's already sailed, yeah, right? That's true. You can't get unsmart. no. I'm not gonna be smarter than him, but I have more life experience. Yeah. So one time, he was he's just very he's very spacey and he's in his own world. And we we're watching my daughter play soccer, and then I said, "Hey, son, you, what do you think happens to butterflies? Just fucking with him. What you think butterflies?" die in the winter and they come back as raindrops in the, in the spring where and did he, you did you just come up with that yourself yeah yeah and then <laughs> okay. he looks at me and he says no butterflies migrate for the winter <laughs> get the ah, fuck out of here dude suck it dude they do. I look it up they fucking migrate yeah they, they do they, I don't they go wanna, to Mexico <laughs> Well, you don't want to hear the axe. You know, we should build a wall to keep butterflies out, dude. Nah, Fuck nah, them nah. butterflies. We like the butterflies. Once dude. they go over there, I don't want to see them. Don't don't you know I butterflies' don't... wings can cause typhoons? Well, that's a, butter... that's a movie, dude. It's Ashton Kutcher, man. It's true, though. Butterfly, what? Effect, butterfly effect, man. Uh, Fuck you Ashton. You never heard of that? That's horse shit. That's more <laughs> science stuff. I don't want to hear... Again, don't tell me about this shit. I don't give a fuck about that. How do you feel about gravity? What's that? Who's that? Who's gravity? Gravity who? Sanchez? Who's he, a rapper? <laughs> it's, it's that thing that makes it very diffi- difficult for you to get up from bed. That's, I think yeah. that's <laughs> what other what other what other what other crazy ideas do you have well, besides the, butterflies? And well, there's a lot of stuff always going through my head, man. I'm always thinking about shit. I see a bunch of commercials. I see just whatever. I'm always thinking. I'm all, I'm always writing too. And if I'm not writing, yeah. I'm sending messages or I'm seeing people. Yeah. So I, I haul crude oil. I work in an oil field with a bunch mm-hmm. of cavemen and. And whenever we unload or load or just different people, I'll tell it off. I, I hold court, man. I, it's me. It's my time. It's always my time. Mm-hmm. You're, you're on my time. Even though it's your show, it's my time right now, right? So I'm just allowing y'all to have certain time. But this is mm-hmm. still all my time. Yeah, it's your time. When you're my presence, it's my fucking time. I like that mindset. So so when I hold court, I'm talking shit. Every, there's just so much shit. And the it, I, was, I applied for a supervisor position, and the company decided to go – all outside, they hired two new supervisors. Like, from the outside. Can, yeah, can't hire this Crocs well, guy. You, we think he's racist. You, where's the it's thing? It's the kind it? of quality of people they have inside working for the company. Right, so right. Like, nah, me, this me, guy just went on a 25 minute rant about butterflies, so we're probably gonna me, look elsewhere. Me and my friend Torrance applied for it, right? And they decided to go somewhere else because it's another thing. Once you become a supervisor, you take a pay cut in the oil field. It's a big pay cut you take to become a supervisor. So what's the point of that? It, well, yeah, it's, it's what's the incentive for, because in. It, it, one and a half, two. So if you get two moves after that, <laughs> you'll start making equivalent to what you were making before, but you get to progress with the company, Houston and other stuff. And you're not in a truck. You're in a pickup truck. You're not having the elements. Mm-hmm. You have you, you work minimal hours, but you're on call a lot. So there's there's benefits like, to that. It's like a game of chess. Yeah, you it's, know? yeah, yeah. 3D, 3D, what is it? 4D chess, 4D 3D, chess, yeah. whatever it is, man. Again, whatever Trump plays. All this D stuff, all this. You're talking more yeah, about this, science this shit risk, with me. Though. This risk. You don't know if it's going to be a benefit to you or yeah, not. Exactly. So, you move up. Yeah. So oh, whenever tried to move up. with that, I was thinking about I've been in oil field now for well, since 2011, and that's a lot of shit talking years, right? Where I perfected mm-hmm. that, and then also with 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 doing comedy, even more so, I become sharp. Right? How long have you been talking. doing comedy? For three years, nice. three, three years. That's what's up. Three years. So so uh, and and. And I don't do it as regularly as I'd like to. I got I'm, I'm in work in Hobbs, but I live mm-hmm. in live in Lubbock. So, um, but with that, I was talking to my friends at work, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know if if I'm so used to just whatever's on my mind, fucking saying it. Yeah. And in an office environment, there's, you know, females and other yeah, but it's, people it's with not, vaginas. It's not hard to navigate through that world. Vaginas. But I'm used I'm serious. I worked with I was a, I was a, I was a manager with AT&T, uh, singular wireless AT&T. So mm-hmm. 
playing that whole fucking game, I, I can play that game. I've, I've, I've been there. I've been in supervisory yeah. positions for, for 10 years yeah, before I joined the military. The, the, the whole thing before is just, the... just don't be creepy. You know? well, I well, think yeah. it's really all you got to avoid. Yeah, it, but... Just don't be Bill Cosby. Even the thing is, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to drug anyone, but if I if I take a massive shit, I'm going to tell you about my shit and how I feel my butthole throbbing afterwards, right? Like, I take so many shits out you in can the leave, field. You can leave the, the butthole. Well, this is what off. I'm saying. I don't want to. <laughs> If if I like if I go in there like hey man what towel do I use and you say well that the, whatever the blue one I say hey, you wipe your dick on this I don't wipe my dick I'm like hey well you're not a real man or just just whatever's on my mind I want to yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. say it yeah. which that I think that would have been a big adjustment for me mm. if if I had gotten that position and my homeboy said if I was still in the military I probably would have been kicked out for now by by because of shit I said. Because you would have been kicked out of the military, right? Right. What? I, uh, well, because isn't that the most vulgar place on the planet? No, they're a bunch of uh, PC pussies now. Man. Are they really? Yeah, you can't I say shit. They've been changing. You, well, see, the my home, my home was a ten super, years. So That's I joined, shocking. Yeah, so he's telling me he's a supervisor and he's a I forget what his title is, and uh, so he's a master sergeant, right? Twenty something years the dude's been in, and when you're in the military, where we were at, it, we would say, "Hey, well, hey, what are you, man?" It, it, it's a simple, it's an easy question, simple question. Yeah. What are you? Mexico and, or Honduran, right? This guy yeah. looks Honduran or something. And, <laughs> hey, what are you, man? Uh, well, I'm white or I'm half or whatever. Yeah. I'm, hey, well, hey, I don't know. You look kind of like pussy to me. I don't know if that's whatever it is. It's an easy question. It's a simple question. What are you? Mm-hmm. So his boss goes up to him and says, "Hey, uh, Fiesel, you got uh, you got two apps. You got two new troops folders on your desk." And he says, "Well, what are they?" He's like, "Oh, one's a white guy and the other one is uh, Hispanic." And Fiesel's like, "Yeah, well, I mean, but." what and his boss looks around left right puts his hand over his mouth and says mexican <laughs> like it's a like it's a curse word yeah. like mexican is a bad word yeah no nah, it's just what the motherfucker is yeah so for us the shit we did whenever we were in mm-hmm. in 97 through 2001 when i was active duty it's like pulling your dick out putting it on someone's shoulder and balls and saying franks and beans franks and beans uh-huh. pissing on dudes door handles <laughs> fucking with people non-stop they're taking a the shit you go and throw spit wads on them yeah. you clean the restrooms because they make you clean the restrooms you grab the soap and then you flick it on the back of the urinals like someone jizzed on the walls of there just all types of stupid shit that what mm-hmm. we did yeah you you couldn't you can't do that now really well no because it's it's wow it's like um well, it's, in my view, it's hate crime discrimination. There's all types of shit so like they that. Can, they can bring up all that shit and get, yeah. get people Yeah, even more fired. so. Even more so, man. You know, my homeboy was telling me that he can't even, if he decided, if he wanted to have a photo of uh-huh. the commander-in-chief up in his office, yeah, he can't because it might offend someone. The commander-in-chief of the military. How would it offend someone? Because it's Trump. Because it's Trump. Whenever uh-huh. Obama got in office, my friend was telling me there was a supervisor, this black dude, Sugar Ray, Whenever Trump came in office, Sugar Ray's supervisor, he put a big photo of, of, of Obama's with behind the flag because he was the commander in chief. Yeah. And it was, there's normally one in the front of the building when you walk in on the left, the commander in chief, yeah. secretary, other stuff like that. Mm-hmm. He put that himself, Obama's photo. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. The no, first half all. black, half white president, right? Yeah. First halfy. Like you're a halfy, my kids yeah. are halfy, first halfy. But if my homeboy decided to do that in his office, he'd have to take it down because it might offend somebody. Yeah, that is. Crazy. That's the state of that's the state of, of what we're in now. I didn't, I didn't think the military was PC though. Yeah, that's military a bunch of like bunch I knew, of pussies. I knew like civilian world were all giant vaginas. Even more so, even yeah. more so then. Even wow. more so because it's so diverse. Because there's so many different people from so many different backgrounds. Yeah, they don't want to offend true. anybody. Which I don't. I mean, yeah, I, I think PC is okay in certain situations, but not all the fucking time. Not to walk around definitely like you're fucking in fear of this shit. I know I'm not. Go definitely, fuck yourself. Definitely not in comedy. Fuck no. Go fuck yourself. You know, here, here's my golden rule. We can agree to disagree, yeah. and then you can go fuck yourself because you're not going <laughs> to change what I think or what I say. I'm not. You're not. I like that. I like when, that. When I was talking to my cousin one time, and, and, and we were talking about what I can change. I can't change what Rafa thinks or what you think. Mm. I, maybe I can influence a little bit, but yeah. you're going to think what you think. What exactly. I can control is what I input to my kids is mm-hmm. the knowledge, is the love, is everything I give my kids to put them out there so that they have what I feel they need to make it in this fucked up world. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, am I like this with my kids? Yeah, but do I throw so much shit out there like this? No, I don't, man. I want my kids to be successful, contributing for members sure, of society. Sure. That's what I want for them. But I'm the same person, though. But hey, it, kids, don't do the stupid shit I did whenever I was a kid. Yeah. Don't be like we, me and my cousins were as kids. <laughs> what me and, don't don't hang around with dumbass kids like don't that. Don't wear Crocs. Don't. <laughs> mm-hmm. You motherfucker! Now, and what the fuck happened to the butterflies? 
That's very important. Too. Well, uh, that is important. I'm glad, we, I'm glad we could get back to that. Get back to the butterflies. That's a good segue, man. I just want to let me let me get off of my. Uh, you know, I would soap say box. it's a soapbox, but I don't think a soapbox could hold my weight. So let me get off my my. I've bo- never I've never seen block. a soapbox. Uh, it's. Uh, I think they used to be the wooden boxes. Yeah, they're like crates. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why don't they just say crate? Yeah. Maybe it's because of the uh, commercials that played during the soap operas during the 50s, 60s, 40s, something like that. I don't know where we're going with this, but yeah, definitely. Soapbox. What if it's a homeless person? Do they have soapbox? <laughs> they, no. I don't think so. Just a box. It's a shit. Just a box. <laughs> it's a box. Just maybe a trash can. <laughs> upside down. So butterflies. <laughs> uh, butterflies. They're fucking sissies. You can't say that in the military. No. Because no. I identify as a butterfly. So. <laughs> you sissy dummy. Yeah, all that stuff, man. Well, thanks for hearing me out, guys. Appreciate my, my, no my problem, rant. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm glad yeah. you got it out of your Did you get, did you get to where you were trying to go? Because I know you were talking about PC. and. No, no. I don't even know where I was going, man. I, I kind of got lost <laughs> along the way of... Being you know, once he starts into a run of those runs, he doesn't <laughs> even know where he's going with it. Yeah. No, but like, he's going know. somewhere. It's like, like Stephen yeah. King. It's like Stephen King. Once you're that like, motherfucker starts writing, you know he's going to mention Maine, and you know like he's going to mention some other shit. What's that? You're like Trump. He's just going off. Yeah, but I'm not a billionaire. Yeah, almost. But I don't know. I, I think I think his my economy of words is uh, is a little better than his though. Bigly. Yeah. <laughs> Bigly. <laughs> 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 That's funny. Yeah. So you guys, uh, have you? You said you were performing in New Mexico, also. Yeah, Hobbs. There's this. Uh, there's this. There's this dude, Ruben. You know, Ruben uh, Baca. Mm. Uh, Skyler knows him, and uh, Ruben is this. Uh, this dude. He does a lot of promotion over there. He's in a band, in a metal band, and and he's. Oh, wait, got, wait, wait, wait. I've seen him on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Ruben, he has these shows, and 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 he'll he'll hit me up. And hey, you want to you want to tell some jokes? You got fifteen minutes or whatever. I'm like, yeah, man. If I'm in town, bro, I'll do it. That's so, what's up. Yeah, so it, it's in Hobbs, it, Lovington, wherever he's got. I mean, he's is a busy it, is dude. It, is, is it like a legit show? You get paid for it? No, no, I don't get I don't get paid for anything, man. Uh-huh. He he was talking about some giving some money, but the way I look at it is is I've I mean, uh, thank God I have a I have a, I have a great job. Mm-hmm. Uh, I make enough money to support me and all my kids yeah. and wife. So Ruben's a you know he's a hustler he's out there promoting and just keep on inviting me man if I'm in town I'll go don't pay me just just uh, I'm I'm not looking to get rich off of this someone might say well then what are you doing this for well because I fucking want to do it because I yeah. love doing it yeah if, if, exactly. maybe if I didn't have four kids it'd be different maybe if I was 24 had a full head of hair or some <laughs> boots that matched right the maybe, hair becomes a niche of yeah. him I don't know if you notice know, that, that kind of bothers him a little bit maybe maybe then it would be different right but I like Crocs I like pants with elastic. And T-shirts, so and he hates white people. <laughs> no, well hippies. I don't yeah, really like hippie no, shit, dude. I, feel that. I, feel I that. love whites, man. One time I was saying something, and someone said, "I forget who it was." They said, "You know, you're not white." And I said, "What?" <laughs> said, you know, I wish you would have told <laughs> me this shit three years ago. What? Why didn't anybody tell me this? Uh, Did you shit. see when Rafa took that chongo off his hair? He went. He he, yeah. he moved around like he was Just a, a shampoo commercial. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that's that just, hair. Maybe it's Maybelline. Because I, yeah, I know it bothers him. That's why I did it. You use shampoo and conditioner in your hair? Yes, sir. Oh, you motherfucker. You look, I, I can just see the jealous rage in your uh-huh. eyes right now. You know what I use? The way he's staring I at just your use, head. I'll just, I could use a bar of soap if I, I could use, I could use antibacterial soap for every part of my body. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, I haven't used shampoo and conditioner in years, man. Wow. You know what? I've You're never used. You're saving a used, bunch of money then. I've never. You are. You are saving <laughs> on money. On haircuts, right? Mm-hmm. Clothes. I mean, even look at watches. This watch, this is a nineteen ninety nine. This is a nineteen. This is a twenty dollar Casio Illuminator watch with a five dollar NATO strap, son. That's how I roll because I don't give a shit, and it's functional and it works. Holla! I'll go up. I'll meet with anybody with this fucking watch on. I'll need all that fancy horse shit. There's that. There's that one motherfucker. There's that one black dude from. Uh, what did you from, got? I don't even have a watch on. Yeah, I, I mean, I got. One. I don't know what this. I got two watches. I don't. I don't, can't name the brands off the top of my head. Yeah, uh, Apple and something else. No. Apple and Movado. I'm never. Getting, I'm never up. getting an electric watch. Whatever that shit is. No. So so yeah, man. But that's how I roll. So so like with with, with blacks and Mexicans, this dude. Uh, I forget his name, man. The guy from from the invented Fubu on on Shark Tank. He says they call minorities. These companies call minorities shoe super high users because out of so much money that goes into certain communities, whether it be black or whether it be current day Mexican communities. Uh, a large percentage, of it, large percentage of it goes out on 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 what you wear, what you drive, uh-huh. all of that. Yeah. Not with me. 
a large percentage, most of it goes on my kids because I have four kids, right? Mm. And I take care of my kids, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I handle mine. I, I, I does for mine. So, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I don't, again, what I have, what I wear, you're not going to be impressed with it mm-hmm. because I'm a disgusting fat body. There's nothing you're going to, there's nothing I don't have on that's going to impress you, man. Are you impressed by this $5 NATO strap and that, look at that, illuminator? I meant, how long have you had it? This, uh, you said nineteen ninety nine. No, I paid nineteen ninety nine. Oh, I was like, I thought you were saying, I've had this since nineteen ninety nine. I was like, no, that's, no, no. that's impressive. No, he was impressed with your hat, though. Yeah, well, it, I was impressed. Uh, with your I think where did I get this from? Uh, and I was impressed with your stance on Israel. So yeah, dude, you, pro Jew, man. Hell pro yeah, Jew. yeah, hell yeah, man. Save the Jews. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Build the wall or whatever they got over there. Yeah, they have walls. They do. Yeah, they definitely. Have walls. Everybody has walls, man. Even Mexico has walls too, Rafa. <laughs> you motherfucker. I, I love the I intensity. Okay, well, I thought you. Well, I was just. I was anticipating <laughs> you saying that. Let me point out the brownest guy. <laughs> you mother, you guy. motherfucker! <laughs> and I completely agree with him. We do have walls. What are you talking about? Nobody's arguing the opposite. Y'all don't like El Salvadorians either, man. Calm down. <laughs> Nobody does. They don't even like themselves. I just want to go on the offensive first. <laughs> I can tell, man. It's like it's like I was telling him about Ben Shapiro. I, l- I listen to Ben Shapiro all the time. I love Ben really? Shapiro, Me man. Too, I love man. that little Jew. And I like what he says about Trump. Is that Trump's a counterpuncher, right? And sometimes yeah. he punches a bad person. Sometimes he punches a baby, right? Mm-hmm. And I guess that's the same with me, man. Sometimes I, you know, I, I hit the point on the head. Sometimes I just hit Rafa to hit Rafa. Whoever's there, yeah. man. You're kind of like a like a Mexican Joey Diaz a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I get it. So my brother-in-law was talking about Joey Diaz. He doesn't think that... Um, have you seen how skinny Joey Diaz is? Uh, you, I don't know, I don't know you, where you're going with that. <laughs> i never seen him with gloves or doing exercise or running in the morning at 5 a.m. I, I just don't know exactly where... He's got a full hair set. Uh, I mean, he does I, have a full head of hair, man. Exa- yeah. I don't know where you're going with that comparison, but... Just just the rants. Yeah. The rant, all the rants, yeah. My, my brother-in-law doesn't think that, that, that Joey Diaz is... Um, he doesn't think that a lot of his stories are true, though, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. They sound. They sound realistic, man. I mean, I think. The but same I guess thing. he's just lived such a life. Maybe I don't know. What you do know you think? What? Uh, to he me, is, the details. That's he, what tells you if it's true or okay. not. He went. To, I mean, he went to prison for kidnap. I yeah. can't. I can't say he didn't uh, do yeah. anything. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying that. But a lot of the stories he tells. It was a different world, they, dude. I yeah. can tell you stories also that, that you said, "Nah, there's no way." Uh, when you're a child, remember. Uh, being until midnight uh, out there yeah. in the street, like, like I said, it was a totally different world. You you will not do that with your kids nowadays. Yeah, yeah who are you raised it, by, wolves or what? Calm down. No, no, no. <laughs> it was just the way it was. No, yeah, no, no, you're when right, you man. you scratch yourself, uh, or little Bruce or whatever, yeah. you used to put dirt in your in your wound. <laughs> That's it. Or water. <laughs> from someone's, That's if you from, have water. No, from someone's house when you would just get the water yeah, hose for water it. Hose. Yeah, 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 man. That was it. Nowadays, it's like a whole different game. I mean, you will never do that with a child. I worked with this one with black chick named Mark. Marquita and she oh, says, saliva. You used to use saliva. Oh yeah, yeah. That's it. That was, that was Marquita. Like, that's a dope. Marquita, name. yeah. That's a John Silver. She said, she said, why, why do all you Mexicans? No, they call, they say Spanish. Like black people say Spanish. Why are you Spanish kids come up to my house and drink from my water hose? <laughs> I was like, we're thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> But that's what we did, man. If yeah, you're coming back you from the park, you didn't want to go inside. Yeah, and the bottled waters wasn't the thing. You had the sports bottle where you would pull up the cap and you, and but it would still spill out. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, man, you, we didn't have water bottles. Perrier, this, this, yeah. Perrier I mean, why, was about the only thing. Why but it was get glass. a bottle when there's free water in a hose? But yeah, but bottled waters weren't a thing when I was a kid. No, at all. It didn't become a no. thing until when? Uh, early two thousands. Probably once you started discovering that uh, the water was no good. In love, was, yeah, uh, yeah, but yeah, but yeah. I, I just started drinking bottled water until I got my wife. She she drank bottled water, but it it was fancy. If someone had a bottle of water. Look at this fancy fuck, man. Yeah. Who's this guy? And it actually is? tasted way worse than the water from the hose. It did. You're too. right. You're right. Yeah. I was used to all that calcium buildup mm-hmm. and 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 it had and a fluoride. taste. Yeah. but you liked it. You got used to the taste. <laughs> yeah, it's like me. At first, it's a little off putting, but then afterwards, you know, I like this fast yeah. old bitch, man. Yeah, that's what you got used to. When I first, yeah yeah bottled water, it was it was just for fancy people, man. Mm-hmm. You either drank Coke or water. And even then, we were talking about Coke, too, where it's, this is some other white boy shit that when I joined the military, I refer to everything from, because I'm from Texas, I guess it's Texas thing, as Coke, right? Everything is Coke. Yeah, everything's Coke. Yeah, and then you go over there. I was in Florida. Pop. Yeah, pop or, or, or soda. <laughs> and I'll go through a drive through or go somewhere, a restaurant. Hey, I want a Coke. And they come back with a Coke. I'm like, no, I didn't. I didn't want a. I wanted a Dr Pepper. You're supposed to. When I say I want a Coke, you're supposed to ask me what kind of Coke I want, and then I tell you what kind. It's either Coke, tea, or water. 
Yeah. And then there's different variations. Do you ever of get cup. pissed off when they're like, is Pepsi okay? No, oh, fuck no. I'm not a communist, <laughs> dude. I get pissed off all the time. We went to Josie's Burritos this morning. Because that's whenever I, have, I love Josie's, man. Got to get salad burrito, rice and cheese. So, sounds good. Yeah, dude, it's the shit. So, I, and it makes you shit too. So, we go through there. My wife says, hey, I like the ice here. Get a Coke. And I say, I have a Coke. Dude says, uh, we have Pepsi. Nah, I'm not a communist, dude. I'm, my wife, I was close to leaving just because. How did you the, relate those two things? Well, he, Pepsi? Okay. Because Russia. I don't remember Pepsi Ru- and Michael Jackson. Go for it, Matt. Go. go. School this Beto voting for motherfucker on Pepsi, Matt. School this something. I, I, I don't know how. Okay, was, well, here's I was why. Joking. <laughs> here's I, why. No, no, so whatever. I was listening to this podcast about this. So with, with Pepsi and, and in Russia and in, in, in these Middle Eastern countries, Pepsi was the first. Pepsi went over there before before Coke, but it's an American company, right? Right, but oh, they were okay. but they were they were they were dealing with with like uh, communists and all types of other you know evil. So they were selling stuff. products to communists, trying to make in we're just making money. Just, they're being capitalists. No, no, no. They're just you know capitalizing, and making that money. So it, so That's so so Coke decided not to go over there because something had happened. And they decided, ah, we'd rather not do that. So once the wall came down, then Coca-Cola went over there. Germany. To Germany, to, to Russia, to all these other places. So what happened is Europeans, Russians, whatever you want to call these people, they started looking at Coke as as for, for a different generation, for the younger generation. Pepsi was old school. Pepsi was the old communist regime. Pepsi was that. So that's where you get that Pepsi was is for communists. And, and Coke is. But if is anything, capitalism. they were trying to make well, them not communist if they're yeah, selling their should. products over there. You know what I mean? They're, uh, I don't well, know. Like uh, Coca Cola, like did something with Nazis. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, um, but they don't count because <laughs> it happened pretty, so long ago. I'm pretty sure oh, like okay. Volkswagen was also involved with in the Nazis. Right. So, so was Boss and and Hugo Boss and right. uh, some other company. Yeah, the there's Manhattan a lot of stuff. Project. Yeah, dude, a bunch of stuff like NASA. that, man. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The head dude of NASA. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you read uh listen to a lot of audiobooks and I remember Rogan talking about the uh pa- Operation Paperclip where the the dude who headed up NASA had a factory and he would hang some of the 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 the, the Jews who didn't produce oh wow more productive would hang them That's on the cranes outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. I'm li- I'm listening to this book right now. A lot of audiobooks. It's called In it's called The Garden of Monsters or In the Garden. I can't remember the name of it, but it's about this ambassador, U.S. Ambassador Dodd, and his trip over there in the two, three years leading up to Hitler just completely taking over, mm. taking over everything. So Hitler's already in power, and it's it's a pretty interesting book, man. I listen to a lot of stuff. It, it, yeah, and my here's what I told I told Caleb this one time, Caleb Davis. I'm an informed bigot, man. Yeah, I I I, I know much except science. I don't want don't don't come at me with science <laughs> shit. But with history and other shit like that, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm going to educate myself. I'm going to inform myself mm-hmm. of that. That way I can come back at you and make fun of you and put your shit down, but we still be friends. Right, Rafa? Well, it makes sense. Yeah. That's, I'm an informed bigot, man. Mm-hmm. Go fuck yourself. That's cool. Bigot. I like, yeah. <sighs> I admit it, damn it. I wear it around my chain like a rapper, like a fucking bigot. medallion. Bigot how? <laughs> bigot, bigot how? Yeah. Uh, what, however you want to interpret that. <laughs> I don't care. Everything, man. You want to say I'm racist? You want to say I'm bigot? You want to say I'm homophobe? You want to say whatever yeah. it is, man. Do I honestly think I am? No. But if you want to sign that label to me, I'll fucking take that label. Mm. I'll fucking wear that label. And wear then go it. fuck yourself with it, man. Rock it. Shove it up your ass. Shove it up your ass. No lube. No spit. Oh, no. Whatever painful. you want to sign me, that's man. That's hardcore. Okay. That's, 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 that's how painful. hardcore it is. Yeah. Reminds me of Disney World. <laughs> Can't talk about it. Got to sign an NDA. <laughs> And I was full of shit with that NDA. <laughs> People are going to be like, man, this is the most hateful podcast you've ever done, Matt. Son Dude, of a you're bitch. Not, you're not. You're going to delete it. <laughs> He's like, I want this shit on my pocket. No, there was, there was one I was going to delete one time, but just because it was bad. But What, the hate? No, just because oh. it was like. <laughs> the lawsuit, too. Just because it, it was hella boring. Oh. But, uh, so, well. No, but this one's been fun. It's been exciting. <laughs> so you've been doing comedy three years. You've been doing it about five, just in Lubbock? No. I've been doing it for eight months. Eight months! Wow! Hell yeah! That's awesome. Uh, last time I saw you, you uh, you dressed up like a dog. Have you done that? <laughs> Have you done that bit a lot? No, actually, because that was pretty funny. I- I'm glad you liked it. Uh, <laughs> this is a lot of dog puns. Yeah, I mean, it's just like <laughs> I 
I do characters, <laughs> yeah. and, and, and the whole thing started with me when somebody uh, invited me to backstage, a uh, place where they used to have open mics. Yeah, I went to that one twice. That was a good, good yeah. venue. Yeah, I, I love it. I liked it. And since I saw the first um, open mic, I said, I think I can do that. And so I tried the, the following week, so I wrote something down. Uh, mm-hmm. My first bit was called... Rafa the Rapist. Yeah, rape oh, artist. That's yeah. A great okay. <laughs> I'm, and a, I'm a fan already. It was related to Trump calling every Mexican a rapist. So, mm-hmm. so but I wear a surgical mask and a hoodie, kind of mm. looking like a rapist. So I, I tried, I wanted Wait, to be a scary. Surgical mask? Exactly. One to stretch. Yeah, just kind of cover your face and with oh, a hoodie okay, and yeah, a yeah. surgical mask. And uh, <laughs> when I came in front, it's like um, to the mic. It was my first yeah. open mic, my first time I, I basically spoken on. On public or something, yeah. something like doing, doing something like this, and I said, "Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Rafa the rapist." <laughs> and you can hear a pin drop. I laugh. And to me, that was... reaction was exactly what I wanted. Yeah. And, and I went off on that, and people really liked it. And since then, I don't know, covering your face in a way became to me kind of like a chill, mm. but also at the same time, really? something to grab attention. You get the mm-hmm. attention of people right away, and also at the same time, sometimes your imagination. Is bigger than the whatever I can do with my facial expressions or whatnot. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I get the people like 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 really interested in right away in what I'm doing. So I, I, I utilize a lot of wrestling wrestler masks and uh, all kinds of masks and nice and outfits. So, yeah. They are related to my uh, yeah definitely. Do you, do, you think think it, do you think it helps? How do you plan it that way? It yeah. Just it's just gonna happen that way now. Kind of like that's what I'm yeah. known for. That's what I do, and I like it. Do you, do you think it helps bo- with like uh, confidence? Like getting into the getting into a character, is it easier? It, it does help you. Yes, mm-hmm. it, it does help you a little bit. You Although see, you gotta have some substance with whatever you're wearing. You yeah, could, definitely. Because you can grab the attention for five seconds, and then after that, okay, now what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think he took it a bit too far with his blackface, though. That was uh, <laughs> I was a little offended. <laughs> because you're black. <laughs> because I'm yeah, I'm eight percent. The black and you. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I apologize. Yes, uh, I am. I, I actually am. I, you can get away with a tasty blackface. <laughs> if, if you give me a second, I'll, 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 I'll show you something. You guys talk about it. Ah, you you give me a second. He's right going to jump into a phone right. booth. <laughs> hey, cut your hair while you're in there. Black Superman. Yeah. I came prepared. Is this, is this man really about to go on a blackface? I need to. I need oh to start no, he, he's, these he's with the costume camera. dude. Look at this. He's got his mask. Oh, he really uh, brought a mask. L- Luchador. That's it, man. Black and white mask. Very nice. I like that, dude. He looks like yeah. Candy. This is for Halloween, <laughs> is it, or is it just for fun? <laughs> That's what no, he wears. I, I usually, like I said, I utilize the mask for, best. for my uh, bits and comedy and stuff like What's that. What's your so luchador brought, name? Luchador. Uh, this one is called. This one is called um, Rayo de Jalisco. Mm. And Spectro. Sounds delicious. So sounds like a great restaurant. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, $8.99. Yeah. There's a restaurant called El Jalisco. Yeah, there's a like bunch of them, man. Yeah. For those who can't Several. see, Rafa's wearing uh, some luchador masks. He's got two of them. And he's stripping down his pants right now, and he's wearing a... Th- okay, no, that was just he's about dreaming. To, was just he's about <laughs> to jerk it Louis style. Yeah, put your hair... Put all your hair in back, Rafa. Do you ever Do you ever use those in the bedroom? <laughs> you know what? That's a very good idea. <laughs> I'm going to try that tonight. <coughs> going to try it on Paul or what? He's just been using them with his dog. <laughs> <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Am I right? Am I right? You're right. I do have some dogs, but they're in the back. So yeah, I heard I heard dogs on your podcast. They were barking on this last one. Yeah, and I said, yeah, yeah, this dude's half white. If he has dogs in his house, but yeah, then you said you like, have dogs in your house though too. I only have one. It actually, is my wife's dog. It's a Chiweenie, small little thing. Chiweenie from Chicago. No, <laughs> it's a Chihuahua mixed with <laughs> a dang, weenie dang. dog, and it's just like a bigger Chihuahua, the longer and bigger Chihuahua. I don't know, man. Um, I guess I'm just too. Two Lubbock Mexican, just not dogs. I really don't care for animals, though, man. I really, I mean, I don't hate animals, but yeah. I'd rather not deal with them. We have a dog, we have a cat. I, I don't like the dog, but I don't deal with her. My kids do, and I don't like the cat. Yeah, no, I, I feel the, I feel the same way. I don't like, I don't like animals, dude. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't care for animals at all. I like dogs. I just don't. I just haven't had one. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I, I don't know, man. I just, I'm just not an animal person. My mom was, and I'm not. But I mean, like my, I like my family, my cousins and stuff. You know, they're yeah, they're a bunch of animals too. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I heard. Saying. They're monsters. My cousins dude. are okay. My cousins are. I no wonder them. you don't like animals. I love my cousins. I kind of, kind of like my family. <laughs> I love my family, man. I might leave them tomorrow, but they seem all right. <laughs> bunch of animals. What you got there, Rafa? 
Nothing is just uh, I brought a folder with a I want to show my top ten bits. Uh, that was kind of my idea, so this the way rapist. I wouldn't I wouldn't repeat the same stuff over and over. So I uh, you know mm -hmm. I came up with I don't I like know like around twenty twenty five of them different bits, and then I I wrote my top ten. This is very organized. Like all mine is on like loose paper. And just you know, scribbles. I, I cannot understand my own handwriting. That's why I gotta really? type it. Yeah, that that's sense. that's the reason. Yeah. Because I feel like I lose it when I try to type things out. I feel like I don't. I don't think about it hard enough unless I'm like actually writing. But this is cool, man. How long is each bit? Did you time the bits out I, and everything? You see, the the first one I ever did it was the rapist. That was at about I don't know five six minutes, and and that's kind of like the limit they give me. You nowadays in open mics yeah. around five minutes. That's usually mm -hmm. what they are. I remember you Sometimes having to cut that longer. down. Yeah, I have to because yeah. the, actually my Tiger story was way longer than mm -hmm. that because I go into more in detail <laughs> about my life and the stuff that happened Palm to tree. <laughs> Dogs losing their shit right now. But yeah, that's interesting in love because you guys, uh, I think you get like six minutes tops, like open mm -hmm. mics. Sometimes seven. It depends. Yeah. It depends on, on, on. I remember towards the end of backstage, one time Kimothy was hosting and there was people just coming in late and, and, and I took a photo of it. I think there were like 20 something People, Kimothy was sweating, running up and down. People, it was just, it was crazy, man. Mm -hmm. it, towards the end, people started off about five, six minutes, and towards the end, it's like you were getting two minutes, you know, because. Oh, really? Yeah, so backstage was getting, uh, it was pretty popular, man. Yeah, backstage is dope. It's different in Amarillo, you know, because me and Skyler are like only the people that kind of like started, well, Skyler started it, and then I yeah. kind of jumped on later. Yeah. But like, it's, uh, it's not as organized. So it's like everyone gets about 12 minutes. Oh, okay. But we don't really time it. That's a so, long time. Yeah, man. it is a long time. So it's like it's when you go to Lubbock, you really have to cut your stuff down, cut out the fluff, which is cool. <laughs> we, I, like I, I I hear about this, the shows y'all are doing. Y'all have got how many how many open mics do y'all have? Uh, psh, we've got one, two, three, I think like three or four. And, and people hear about it on Facebook? Yeah, um, Yellow City Comedy. That's yeah. Where we post everything. And with... So that's a, I think Caleb and that's the name of the group, Yellow City Comedy. Yellow City Comedy, yeah. Why is yellow? That sounds Chinese. Am <laughs> Amarillo, Amarillo. Oh, oh there you come go. on, yeah. man! You, you, you didn't get know that. No, I'm fake. You You're real. <laughs> <laughs> you now, <laughs> now we know who the real Mexican is. Okay, I got it. <laughs> yeah, the one that's half, the halfy is real. <laughs> I didn't. Oh man, that's a good play on words. Yeah, that's cool. yeah. We look like a bunch of dummies. <laughs> well, there's like they caught me off guard. I know exactly what the translation is, but I just there's a lot of I there's a lot it. of like uh, companies here that go with Yellow City, like oh. Yellow City Street Food. Um, that's the only one I can think of right now. But there's other things. Is there a Yellow City Street? Food? Is there something like that does a does a, a food truck like that sells so Chinese food that would really be yellow, right? Yeah. Definitely. Come on, dude. That was good. Damn it. Yellow rice. Yeah. Just yeah, because they're yellow ish. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I mean, I see what you're going for. Dang, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I was I listening to your podcast. I think I told you this. I messaged you this. The the one podcast, the, the podcast you had recently that I that I really enjoyed was that was that uh, was that rapper Mexican dude, the barber. No, oh, Chaz. Uh, is that his name? Chaz Sotelo. The one that the one that went to was riding around with Felipe was yeah, his, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, that was that was uh, that was very interesting, man. I I, I was. I was uh, I was into it. Chaz is funny, man. I he's, was into it. He's random as shit. What I really liked what is how he put on his Texas rapper mumble voice. Yeah, that's that was I was like, that's 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 funny, man. That's the way my cousins' baby daddies talk, right? And they're not even yeah. rappers, dude. They're just oh, yeah. you know losers. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> but I, I like that. I, it was very interesting, man. Then I went with um with uh. Cheryl Pittman to yeah. go see Felipe. You went to go see it too, right? Yeah, to I went to see Felipe. He's pretty good, man. Dude, honestly, my favorite guy, I think it was Toby Hicks, the black guy. Oh, yeah, he was good. He was, he was my good. favorite. What about the big-eared Mexican dude? He was funny too. Yeah, he was short, quick, and uh, everything was tight. I, I kind of missed the, the beginning of the host. I missed the beginning of his bits because I was trying to get drinks. Oh, okay. But uh, Yeah, Cheryl had, pretty well. Cheryl had an extra ticket and... Uh, and I said, none of these dudes are going to go with you because, uh, well, here, because they're all afraid of women, right? They're all afraid of females. Are they really? Well, no, they're just, they're just young millennials. They're pussies, you know? So, um, uh, and, wow. and so. Yo, shout out to the Lubbock comedians. Y'all are all pussies. And I didn't, and I didn't, uh, <laughs> and I didn't, I worked wow. that, and I worked that day and I was talking to my wife about it and she said, 
well, why don't you just take a PTO and, and see if she still has a ticket? To PTO, pay time off from work, right? Take the day off. Yeah, I know what PTO means, man. Would you... Well, I don't know. You know what PTO means? I know exactly what it means. Yes, sir. <laughs> You're a fucking liar. Y'all are lying. Well, he used so... to do security for Mickey Mouse. You know PTO. <laughs> yeah, we get a lot of PTO. Well, pussycat time off. That's whenever they bring the cats in at night. <laughs> Come on, dude. And they attack you as pantries. <laughs> Pedophile time out. That's whenever you open time the... you're dressed like a pantry. <laughs> so, so then I, I hit Cheryl up and I asked her, hey, you still got the ticket? I mean, I, I would be interested in it if you said she said yeah so we went and uh it was it was good man one thing i know that stood out with felipe is his is his is his um his movement on stage yeah, he yeah, did yeah. his little dance it's like it's like it's like he was a character from uh tekken you know the yeah. eddie and, and christy when they do that little, little uh, the little back and forth move side to side back and forth mm-hmm. he had this, like a little dance whenever he was talking he was back and forth a little you know Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, Why probably. <laughs> <laughs> he has Colombian allergies. Is that what he's yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. Okay. So, but it was it was good, man. It was, yeah, it was uh, pretty good. It was a good show. I, I liked it. The black dude was funny. I think I like the big eared guy though. The, mm-hmm. As far as the openers, he was. I think it's Johnny Roke or something like that. I mean, he was pretty good. He was pretty good, man. Yeah, he's funny. But but that guy Chaz is his name. Yeah, the hit barber. Yeah, I, I that's that's got to be one of my favorite podcasts that I that I've heard. I haven't heard all years, but since nice. since appreciate um, it, man. So that one right there was was good. Very interesting, man. That so was big cool. ups to Chaz. What up, so Chaz? Chaz? Shout out to Chaz. Yeah, if I had hair, I'd go get a haircut. I mean, yeah. I got hair on my ass cheeks, but that's I trimmed that the other day, so we're good. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying earlier, the Lubbock scene uh, seems really cool. Seems supportive, yeah, man. Yeah, like a good group of people. Yeah, I mean, I'll talk shit. I'll, I'll fuck with all these dudes, but yeah, they're all all, all good dudes, man. Mm-hmm. And y'all get like four mics a week, I think. Well, this, it depends. Uh, there's, there's it different varies, stuff. but it's yeah. definitely growing and it's getting more popular and it's getting a lot more attention. And it's just, uh, that's awesome. It's getting yeah. there. There's a few guys who are uh, promoting some other yeah. stuff coming yeah. up, uh, yeah. like uh, Miguel. is coming yeah. up with uh, this benefit. Uh, we did a uh, uh, one McDonald's. for the Ronald McDonald. Then the last one was for the Wounded Warrior. Nice. And then the next one's uh, what's the next uh, benefit for? I don't remember. Do you have to clean up any of your material for those events, or do they? No. Do uh, they something specify? about a autistic uh, kids or something like that. I can't remember autism or something like the, that. Yeah. The new retard? No. Um, no. <laughs> no, I've never cleaned up for for, for Lubbock. Uh, no, I, I, just, only I just meant for like Ronald McDonald or whatever. Oh no! Those, no. Those, those the events. only thing there was a couple of things we're not supposed to talk. Oh. One, one was the clown, and the other one was the clown. dog or whatever. Yeah. Other than that, it was you can't make fun of clowns. N- well, not Ronald not McDonald. Not the Ronald so, McDonald. That's yeah. weird. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah if, my, if Ronald McDonald was a uh, was a minority, then I'd probably have to say, hey, "Count me out, bro," because that's I mean that's what I'm gunning for. You know, yeah. minority clowns. But well, since that makes you don't know what color he is. What do you mean? You assume he's white, but gunning for you know, just hey, I'm gonna I gotta make fun of him. I mean, oh, okay. I guess I, I expect clowns like to be white. Uh, it's yeah, yeah, black recently. clown would be weird. Or a Mexican clown. I yeah. mean, I hey, mean, I homie, the clown was awesome. Oh, yeah, I, that's I, true. I, he that's was my true. favorite. Valid <laughs> point. But no, we never had to clean it up. But it, it, I think in Lubbock, what the communication? It's. Uh, I mean, we, we communicate very well with, with whatever's going on. Different events mm-hmm. that are coming up, from Caleb to Durbin, and then the people who started it as well. Um, Corey and I wasn't there for all that, but came in whenever Caleb and Dave and and Durbin and Feldman. And there's just a, there's been there that uh, it just communication. It it uh, it's good stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of real funny guys. Yeah, so and there's a and lot ladies. of support. That they, there's yes. a, yeah, exactly the ladies, <laughs> and I really like that. Believe me, that that, uh, that we're very diverse. We got all kinds of yeah. colors of people. Yeah, and uh, and the, we're very supportive of each other. Uh, they were a good, nice group of friends. Yeah, well, then, then we had we had this meeting and and I said, hey, I'll do uh, I'll do the Twitter part of it. So we have a they, they get the most some attention. people were not too crazy about it, by the way, because <laughs> about he Twitter. knows. Who, yeah, no, they know Paul. About and him he being can go charge. off. And, well, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I, I, so I, I I haven't been doing it lately because I've been going back and forth to See why uh, you Houston want a Roseanne shirt. But so, <laughs> but I I try to I I don't with the Laugh Hub City Twitter. It's at Laugh underscore Hub City, mm-hmm. and I'll put a, I've. I've been uh, with work. It's man, it's going back and forth. Anyways, I put the the events that come up. I don't have many followers. I think it's five fifty three or something like that, which is not a lot. Mm-hmm. 
Not a lot. 553 is not bad. How long has it been? No, there? no, just 53. Oh, I thought it was no, like 553. Well, well, five, no, 53. It's not reason for that, but, but okay. I'm going to toot my own horn. <laughs> okay. the, 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 the jokes I put out there, I'll take some of the headlines, different stuff, and it's I, – I don't I – don't, I'm not. I don't get political. I try not to be racist. I just try to be silly with the jokes on yeah. there, and I, I think some of them are pretty good, man. Which is the opposite of what he does when he performs, mm-hmm. by the way. But are you looking it up? Because you can go on Twitter without yeah, what's being it, hooked it? Up. at laugh underscore hub city. So some of the stuff I'm I'm gonna pat myself on the back because no one else will. But I think some of the jokes on there You're I put right out there are pretty that. good. Thank. <laughs> 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 yeah. So uh, it's not getting much traction with that, but I I like it, man. And, uh, Whoa! It's funny how you criticize yourself, and then I help you a little bit more, so you have to you. take it to the Thank next you. level. You want it, bro? <laughs> Kill black people, 2018. What is that? Uh, you you see, that's what I'm <laughs> talking <laughs> about. That's exactly where you got oh, 58 from the KKK following that's, you. That's wrong. The- that's it. Should be 2017. That's uh, <laughs> that's wild, man. That's messed up. How dare man, oh, you're no, killing, killing it? So you're killing it. There's a headline that says teenager survives 49 days adrift at sea. And then you uh-huh. captioned, what did he do with the tiger? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of I silly stuff that. like yeah. that. I'm like just being that. silly, man. There was this one about a Guatemalan airport under under uh, closed down or lava uh, volcano and it's covered in ash. And I said, shock. I retweeted it and I put shocking. No, not the lava part. The fact that Guatemala has an airport. You know, that's, uh, so it's just stupid stuff like that, mm-hmm. man. I think I should get more... I think it should get more traction, but I don't know, dude. I just don't want to argue with people on Twitter. I've gotten kicked off you, on my personal one before. Yeah, I've gotten, I've gotten kicked off. Yeah, I've, I've heard you, man. And <laughs> if you're not doing it right, you're not getting kicked. Off. Well, and, and so I that's, don't. That's the honest. I, I really truth, don't post too much stuff on my personal one, just because it, it, I'm gonna. I, I I like getting into it with people, and it consumes me, me. It consumes me, and I look forward to that. I'll be driving my truck at work, and I'm, I'm pulling over. Oh, I hear a beep, D, or whatever. I pull over. Oh, what does the motherfucker say? All right, so here I go back, and it's consuming Jesus. me. Just yeah, and you know it's a it's an issue. Yeah, same thing with Facebook. Check man. it too much. I, I'm on Facebook, but just for the comedy stuff, I don't post. Stuff. I really don't look at other people's stuff yeah. because I I have a hard time not saying what the fuck I want to say. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And 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 so it's best for me. That's not I even look at it because it's going to consume my time, and that time can be spent taking naps, eating cupcakes, and. Working on your Gotta diabetes. get out of the rice. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, I got, yeah. I don't, it's Bro, I just, rather not. I just made a new Twitter with a different email. And one of my tweets was, shout out to white girls that say the N-word. Y'all are the real heroes. <laughs> and I got reported. <laughs> I got reported and suspended for 12 hours. Dang. <laughs> what else What else you see? I don't know. Think it's I, like I, a timeout put you in a corner for 12 hours. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's just, um, I, 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 I like Twitter, man. That's where I get my news from. I get it from Twitter. It's a fun place. Yeah, you just got to get like the right people I, to follow. Yeah, well, I like I follow personally everybody. I mean, from 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 Black Lives Matter to to mm-hmm. Antifa to Proud Boys to everything else. I want to hear all sides, man. Okay. I, mean, I want to hear all those, sides. Those, all those all on yeah, yeah. Oh. Sean King, you know the fake the fake black dude. Oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's well, yeah. I'm fake masking, so I mean, I need someone oh, okay, else. Right, so right. yeah. So you I, relate to the guy. Yeah, I relate to him. Yeah, I mean. I, I, I like it's, like, it's like little it's like little clever one liners you're throwing out there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just silly. So, Pl- Pluto is most definitely a planet, say some scientists who argue that it should never have been downgraded. And then you caption, has anyone asked Pluto what it chooses to identify as? <laughs> <laughs> there needs to be an emoji that Ooh, that does the boom <laughs> so people know. Like this is a corny joke. Yeah, it's it's silly. It's corny. You're right, man. It's yes. Yes, there's a there's a lot of stuff that uh because I've been doing that, that that Houston run we have at work, so it's I'm driving for 11 hours, mm-hmm. and so it's it's I don't I try not to text and drive, so or you tweet try and drive. not to, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you do for a living? You're a professional driver, right? I'm a professional driver. Yeah, 59 yeah. followers. <laughs> he doesn't. 59. Like holla up from 53. Son, big time. I oh, know you got 60 followers. Oh yeah, thanks, mm-hmm. thanks, mm-hmm. Matt. Anything I can do. Big ups, can man. Do. <laughs> big ups. <laughs> Stupid stuff. So I just posted the events we have. Like I got to do the bar PM tonight. That's the night, right? Bar PM yeah. Sunday. Yes. Yeah, I should have. Yeah, I'll do it whenever. That, that stage looks cool. I saw Cheryl yeah. upload a video of it. Yeah, it. One thing is with that place, it's it's sm- there's smoke in the. Mm-hmm. You can smoke in there, and when you come home, whenever my I smell like oh, cigarettes, I hate that. man. I hate that feeling. So I come into the garage and I strip down right there. I'm glad my kids are asleep because they'd be shocked. 
Do with, you smell like cigarettes? No, no, no. That my fat ass is walking through the living room with just my underwear. On, oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I don't yeah. Wanna, that could be I don't shocking. Wanna, I don't want to traumatize my kids and tell my son, hey, this is what you're going to look like whenever you turn 39, dude, if you don't be My dick's going to get that small? <laughs> Why, Dad? I've even done that before, too, oh, man. I've stripped down to... That'll be so disappointed, right? Oh, <laughs> That's what I had to so look So you mean forward. it's not uh, going to grow? <laughs> Shit. Why are you so hairless? Because <laughs> I try to accentuate stuff, son. Go back to sleep, damn it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's so wow. stupid. <laughs> What do y'all have? What what what, what co- you have any comedy this weekend? No, we don't really have anything on weekends. We do we still do caffeinated comedy on weekends. Okay. Last, last one was good because I actually did a got the radio. radio oh okay, station good crowd. It. Yeah, so it was a decent crowd. But uh, no, we don't have anything coming up. Really, I mean, we we just started a new open mic at a place called House Bar. Uh huh. How's that? That one's November six. We haven't gone. Oh to okay yet. okay. I just bought a PA system, so yeah. now we can go. Are you talking oh, about cool. that? And now we can go to other places. My my wife has a karaoke machine. Well, my daughter has a karaoke machine, and it's got the lights. It's it's a pretty big one, man. And that's what I use to tell jokes in my house. Nice. <laughs> so we got, well, we got the brick fireplace, and it's got the part that comes out. And so I'll just stand up there, and it's got the lights that go on mm-hmm. there. Those 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 I don't know what kind of lights those are. The kind that you turn and pivot. And that's my stage. And uh, my family just makes fun of me while I'm up there. I just stand in front of a mirror. Oh no! I'll, I'll just talk shit. Like I'll put on you can with this with this with this karaoke machine. You can just you can Bluetooth hook it up Bluetooth your phone, and then I just put on the laughing meme repeat mm-hmm. right on, on YouTube. The one like for five minutes, yeah. and it's just laughing while I'm saying my stupid jokes. So that's that's what I do. In my oh, so you time you time out the laughter? No, I just talk over. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll get up on stage. No, thank you. Thank you. No, please. Please. I haven't even said a joke yet. Thank you. Way we, too kind. We don't have that kind of technology yet, but we're working on it, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I could just put silence on there, I guess, if I want to be Pause more it realistic. and play it. Pause and play. Whenever yeah, you just want have to. a button. Just, ah. But, but how, how do you, how do you, there's no sound for someone's facial expressions saying, is this motherfucker serious? There's no, there's no facial expression. There's no sound for that. Mm-hmm. Is this guy real? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's not. Yeah. Or I can't believe he said that. Or like expression. I'm trying to enjoy my drink at the bar. <laughs> right. Why when will this fake Mexican yeah. leave? Why are you gonna <laughs> stop talking? Yeah. Wow. Why is this guy insulting me? Tell me I don't know how to read. Yeah, that's yeah, there's no there's no you can't put a sound to a facial expression. So that's mm-hmm. that's a little difficult, a little tough. So Hey, what do you do, man? You're a farm you're a who do you work for? An insurance dude? Yeah, I work I work for an insurance agency. Uh it's a woman. So, yeah. Yeah. And you went to school too? Yeah, I went man, to school. That's the white side, bro. That's why I wish I was half white, Mexicans man. Mexicans go to school? Where? What high school? El Paso? The first the first <laughs> year? Just in El Paso? Oh shit, I didn't know that was the that first, bad. But. Yeah, the first year. I, I was a manager with Home Depot and, and we were over there in El Paso. Uh, managers you go over there and they do inventory, the managers go to help customer service mm-hmm. and everything else. So we were over there. And one of the one of the females there, I can't remember what her title was with 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 Home Depot and and she was part of the district, and she was talking about going to UTEP. She says, "Well, the international students," mm-hmm. and she kept on talking about international students. And I stopped her. I said, "International students?" I said, "What are you talking about? Like Chinese people?" She said, "No, no, no. Uh, from Juarez." I said, "Those are fucking Mexicans, <laughs> man. What are you talking about? International? <laughs> international is reserved for people from somewhere else. No, yeah. you just talking about fucking Mexicans? Yeah, that's from ten, that's ten miles away. International students. And she was a Mexican herself. Shut the fuck up with that, man." <laughs> Wow. International student. This motherfucker's an international player with a passport right here. That's what Rafa is. Uh, international. No, he's fucking Mexican, dude. Come on. I'm not even with the X, with the S. So you're saying, like, to be international, you got to be from a different Somewhere continent. else. Not from Mexico. <laughs> international from Juarez. You're from the big W, motherfucker. Juarez. That's where you're from. Juarez. Don't say international. <laughs> That's such so stupid. Juarez? Yeah, the big dub. Juarez, son. Juarez. Yeah, the big W, man. Come on. Get with it. That's what that's what you know. That's what the hip white people say over there in, in El Paso. Mm-hmm. I heard them. That's where I got it from. I sampled it. Put my own Diddy remix on it. Remix. <sighs> DJ that I told you that we don't stop. <laughs> that I told you that. Oh, I say that I told you that we don't stop. That I told you that we don't stop. I do the Diddy remix because mm-hmm. that's what was going on whenever I was. Yeah, yeah, I get I was, you. I and get y'all you. say his name Cali. is Puff, his name is Puffy. Though. Well, whatever the fuck his name is, dude. His name is racist. That's what the fuck Didi. his name is. He got Tupac killed. Yeah, he did, man. That's yeah. what Eminem says. Yeah, man, fucking Eminem too, man. 
I say this Eminem with his beard looks like Hillary Swank with a goatee, man. Your beard is weird. <laughs> yeah, that's. I don't. I don't really listen to rap anymore, but I did like that one from 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 him from that uh, Machine, Machine Gun, Gun Kelly. Yeah, and that then, was like the only good song he's ever had. Then I had listened to Eminem stuff coming back at him, and it was pretty good too, yeah. man. I used to really like Eminem, but I I don't anymore. I don't. No, he can't. I don't care for that dude. I feel like he can't make a song. Like he's he can have like a really good verse, but then like the hook is always garbage. I always lo- dude, I loved him. I thought he was the best lyricist. Uh, I think he's still the, probably the best lyricist alive. Yeah, I mean maybe not, top not, five at least. Yeah, I just think now his time has passed. It's yeah. uh, it's yeah. yeah. He, I mean, first of all, we all know in America now, if you're white, you're apparently an evil person now. So he's mm-hmm. white, absolutely, apparently. But no, but he's been drafted by the blacks. I, I mean, I guess they traded Kanye for Eminem, so. <laughs> so the, and, not a good trade, and, but okay. And, my, and Michael Rappaport. <laughs> Michael, that, that, that too, makes man. it a little better, but yeah, <laughs> nobody much. Yeah, I, 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 I always looked at myself. What is that? Is that a dog or stuffed oh, animal? Look, they got out. Welcome. What is? What kind of dog is that? Dude? Those are called uh, Welsh corgis. Those are those are called retarded dogs. Yeah, man, it looks like a stuffed animal. It looks like a pillow. You know the kind of pillows that are that are dogs or animals, and you lay on them. That's what it looks like. Where are they at? Uh, they were in the, I guess, the back room somewhere. They have opposable thumbs. No, they're not humans or monkeys. <laughs> they're just dogs. So they're just dogs. Is it opposable or opposable? Opposable. I think opposable. You, you just said the same thing twice. Well, it's opposable or opposable. Up, opposable. Yeah, or is it just posable? You know what? Fuck science, bro. Yeah, butterflies, man, butterflies. Yeah, drink <laughs> back frozen butterflies. butterflies. Yeah. <laughs> frozen butterflies, dude. Oh, that's uh, so what? Uh, what brought you to Lubbock? Like, because you lived in. Seems like everywhere that was better. Yeah, it's definitely. Uh, some community says that you don't, you don't go to Lubbock, you don't make it to Lubbock, you mm-hmm. just end up in Lubbock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, somehow my grandmother moved to Lubbock. I don't know, fifty years ago, and then my mom kind of follows her. And now I'm oh, following okay. my so family. family. Too. After being everywhere, pretty much, I said, it's, you know, it's time for me to get back yeah. closer to my what, family. What was the funnest place? Miami. Miami, hell yeah! Miami was it was a lot of fun. Uh, LA was good, but we got too crazy with the violence, the small, the gangs. I, I feel and all like Miami stuff. is just crawling with beautiful women. It's yeah, nice. I mean the topless beaches, and I mean you just bump how, into how them every five that, seconds. You, know? mm-hmm. you just went to the bottomless beaches, topless and bottomless beaches. Yes, so just with penises, just swing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't know uh, what kind of beach you went to? But I just, <laughs> oh, what kind of stuff you were looking at? But not me. Yeah, I have never been. You you been to top? You been to new beaches? Yes, sir. What do they call them? New beaches, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I just call them beaches. In Miami. <laughs> you just call them beaches. <laughs> Here for the beaches. There was this. There was this. Uh, I was stationed in Fort Walton Beach, Florida, and on the sound side of it's called Miracle Strip Highway. My homeboy, a little black dude from Philly, called his name is Kelly, Ronald Kelly. He said they call it Black Beach. And we went over there one time, and I saw them. Uh, saw just a number of black people, mm-hmm. Black Beach. And he said, "Here, here, when it starts getting a little darker, they're gonna, they're gonna race." He said, "When they, he said, when they said race, he thought they're gonna race cars around. It's a, it's a segment, it's a parking lot and other stuff." And he says, he sees these black dudes take off the shoes and they run barefoot. They race for money, dude. They, it's a foot race for money. That's <laughs> awesome. yeah, oh, okay. It's not, it's not cars. He, he didn't mm-hmm. know what was going on. He's from Philly. Oh yeah, yeah. So he, anything not from Philly for him was backwards, especially where we were at in Fort Walton Beach. So yeah, uh, I know a few people from Philly. Yeah, they would race. They would race yeah, barefoot <laughs> at Black Beach. What Black Beach. It? Yeah. His name was his name was R. Kelly. Ronald Kelly. How often did you call him R. Kelly? Uh, nah, I just call him Kel. Really? Kel, Kel Delphia. You didn't make R. Kelly jokes about him pissing off people? No. Well, he, R. Kelly didn't do that back then. Well, he did, but we didn't know. <laughs> he didn't know about it. Yeah, 97, 98, 99, 2000, 2001. He wasn't famous yet? Okay. No, he was already famous, but we just knew R. Kelly from Bump and Grind. We didn't know him pissing yeah, on chicks. I mean, apparently he's like brainwashing, kidnapping chicks. Yeah, he's a cult. But since, I mean, you know, you're, you're a brown person, you can get away with it. So it's, <laughs> that's why I'm thinking about starting doing that myself, man. Who's my who's first? Rafa first, man. I think you're, you're probably already on a list. Or two, so. <laughs> after, after today, he's going to be on a list. That's you're not sure. one of the good Browns. It's different. Even you're one of the bad Browns. When I joined the military in '97, there was a in, people didn't have computers, laptops. They, it, they yeah. did, but it wasn't regular. Cell phones mm-hmm. weren't even not. When I first came back to Lubbock, like in '98, '99, on leave, mm-hmm. 
my sister, my mom, everybody had these the, the Nokia phones and, mm-hmm. and and all these Mexicans had them. And so I thought cell phones were ghetto as fuck, man. Really? Damn, yeah, only only ghetto ass Mexicans had cell phones. My sister, my cousin. I remember everyone had pagers when I was a kid. Yeah, oh, yeah. The, those beepers. Yeah, those, that, that was, was the thing. Time. Was like, wow. I had a pager in in, in high school, like, man. Let and, me go to get, go to the pay yeah. phone so I can call this guy back. I had a, <laughs> I had a clear pager, and uh, I got pulled in the office. And Mr. Ramirez, vice principal, they search us. Oh, it was yeah. Someone was tagging up on. The, okay, I was tagging up on the restroom walls with this big ass Magnum forty four marker. They empty my pockets. My pager was there. He took it and he smashed it in front of me. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. You couldn't. It was cell phone. Wow. You couldn't have cell phones in school, and you couldn't have pagers in school mm-hmm. in Lubbock. L I S D. They would, they'd smash it. He got a hammer and he had a little board and he smashed that shit in front of him. Even cell phones. There was there was no. What was, that, what was the retail price on a on a pager, pager back in the day? Well, I think I was paying like uh, ten dollars a month for mm-hmm. whatever I had, and then I bought it for I think it's fifty something. Yeah, I believe there were fifty, sixty dollars yeah. somewhere around there. It was a clear one. It was a clean one. It was a Motorola one, clear. And you thought you were badass. Well, you man. had the black ones or the clear ones. So you had the clear one that was a special because most of them were the black. Right, ones. but they started coming out with the different colors Remember, later like, on. Yeah, yes. the, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. So I had a clear, just clear. Even in my like, in my even my cell phone cases, they're clear. I always go with, uh, I always go with clear. I don't, I don't know why, man. Going clear, and not, I'm, I'm not a Scientologist or nothing, but I just like clear. So Scientology joke, man. Going clear. No, I'm, never, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with Scientology. I heard very little bit of it, but I watched the, the now special on Netflix, and like I've seen Mission Impossible. So, not nah, yeah, <laughs> I've never. I've, I just yeah, I just know from from from. I haven't seen any South Park was where I that's get most true. of my news. Even with the same thing with Mormon South Park, that's the yeah. big thing. Is that a hickey on your neck or a birthmark? No, it's uh, for me falling at Palo Canyon. I'm, oh I'm my shit, ass that's to ugly, dude. I was I was hiking. Yeah, you have you guys been to the canyon? No, uh, no. It's a good time. It's the second biggest canyon in the in the world. I mean, can you take like a? That's why people can you take? Yeah, that's what they told you me. Got to walk or what? I was like, I got this. I'm not walking when I cross the border, <laughs> but I I don't go white, to the white, weekends just to cross a freaking canyon. White people have Taco me? Bell. Like Mexicans can hike. <laughs> he got we that from a, a coyote was chewing on Rafa's arm. That's where he got that from, man. That's some yeah, real that's shit. hardcore, right there, dude. I, w- I was just kidding. I was immigrating. So. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that sounds more like it. <laughs> <laughs> I was immigrating. I got a gang fight from some Hondurans. <laughs> if there's anyone Honduran out there, I'm be like, damn, why does this dude hate Hondurans? I don't. They're just in the news right now, man. I got a friend. I got news. a friend who's Honduran. Pedro, he's a mechanic where he work. He, he served in the military and everything. and People, I was telling Rafa, people think that he's that he's Mexican, and mm-hmm. so I told him, no, nah, no, nah, Pedro is uh he's enduring. Mm-hmm. He, and then uh, I was telling Pedro the same thing. I said, yeah, they don't, they don't think you're enduring. I said, I tell him, you didn't see that plantain sticking out of his ass? Yeah, bro, that's plant, that's one hundred percent enduring. That's a sure sign if they got a plantain sticking out of their ass. You ever had plantains? No, that's like like they fry them. It's like I have. It's you like, like a, them? It's like a green yes. banana, right? It, they're just horrible, dude. It's a huge banana. It's oh, like come on, dude! Big, come on, just... you're giving too much credit to that banana, dude. <laughs> no, but it, but it's a uh, Central South American yeah. thing. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. It's not. It's not too, and also Caribbean, the Puerto Rico, yeah. Cubans, they 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 eat them. Mm. Guatemala, they f- El Salvador, Costa Rica. They fry them, or they put them in a the pan, and they put mm-hmm. salt in them or sugar. Mm-hmm. It's Sometimes not. They put, uh, Sour cream or cheese on top. What's, it's not what's good. the Spanish word for plantain? Plantano. So it, yeah, that sounds better. It's not good. It's plantano. what do you call it? Plantano. 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 That's what I said. You said plantano. No, 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 no. I said you did. my friend works at Plantano. It's uh, oh, it's right outside plantano. of Lubbock. It's right outside oh, of Lubbock. Plantano. Yeah, friend Billy. So gringo. Yeah, it's, down no, to it's, called, it's called Plantano. <laughs> <laughs> it's a plant where they sell. Uh, they well, they they it's they bootleg so Crocs. Come on, dude. You know that shit, man. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think like your uh, your Crocs is like a way of like a counterculture because Mexicans love to wear Croc skin boots? <laughs> yeah, kind of like you know, being an outlier. <laughs> These are alligators. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just I like actually ostrich uh, boots are ostrich. more popular than mm-hmm. in Mexico. Yeah. Nice. Hold on, dude. It's Platano. <laughs> what are you? Platano. You, you say it white. Why don't they, Why doesn't it have it? an N in there? Because you're not supposed to say an N. N word. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's called a plantain. In English, yes, sir. 
and then in, in Spanish, Spanish it's just plátano. plátano. Uh-huh. That's fucking retarded. Well, yeah. Now the big a lot of things the ones, in our language are retarded. The ones dude. you're talking about, those are the big ones. They, they call it plátano macho. That's the that's actual, what I was talking that's about. That's the actual plátano name. Plátano macho. I thought it was Spanish. nacho. So I but some people just call it plátano because that's the only one they it rolls really off use. the tongue so well. Yeah. You know? I just I, so I'm I, a real yeah. Mexican. I took the M and then I changed it to an N and put it in there. That's what I was thinking. I know you got a little confused. Don't worry. Plátano nacho. Nachos is what I was thinking, but within the N, put that right there, and after it's. So it's a big to do, man. That's what I was thinking. It's retarded, anyways. I'm never gonna say that word again. So, Fuck that word, dude. So are you guys going? You, to any, you don't even like it. <laughs> you guys going to any tourist attractions in Amarillo? No, we're gonna go get something to eat. What do you recommend, by the way? <laughs> now that we're here, um, we have Cadillac Ranch, which is retarded. Oh, don't the go there. Uh, it's just cars buried halfway in the ground. Oh yeah, and there's spray paint on them. Yeah. Okay. It's because the, the have you heard of Stanley Marsh? No, is he an artist? Well, he was like, I don't even know what he did. He was a super rich guy. He hired a bunch of like young teenage boys, and he'd fuck them for money. Uh, awesome. He'd pay them. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> but he, he put up a bunch of weird signs, and he put up Cadillac Ranch, and he just did a bunch of weird shit. And he's pretty. He's like the king of Amarillo. He already died, but he was like the king of Amarillo because he's like, he just did weird. Like, there's legs out on the highway, just random legs. People yeah. go and spray paint them. Like sculptures? Yeah. Like So he's an artist, I assume? Or, like a weird, or was he always super high weird or? artist. Well, I think he, he was always high, too. If you think about it, most artists are weird, man. They're all weirdos. Like, Yeah, but he like would like pimp out boys, boys for money, and he'd buy them cars and shit. What's his number? Um, he's dead already. <laughs> oh, okay. Dead. Six, six, six. Dead. Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Six, 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 I'm, like, I'm going to need in a car. I'd, yeah, I'd do something for a car, man. He's an artist, businessman, full-on rapist. Awesome. Uh, it says philanthropist. We can, uh, close enough. Philanth- okay. He's a rape artist like Rafa. No, but what do you recommend in Amarillo over here, like, like food-wise? What, what, you know, you know how wise. it is sometimes, like in El Paso, you got to go chichis tacos or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Something that is like particular to this area. <sighs> Since you live here, you should know what's <sighs> up over here. What are you supposed to drink when you come to Amarillo? What are you supposed to eat? Uh, what are you supposed to visit? You cannot just leave Amarillo without going there. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like Lubbock. Did I put you in the spot? <laughs> I feel like Lubbock has everything we have. At Taco this Villa. Point. That's what I want right now. Taco Villa is not bad. Yeah, I have it here. Yeah. Nah, oh, dude. Taco Villa is a shit. Yeah, that was good. Um, Mat burrito, extra cheese. But that's how low the bar is. The Taco. <laughs> we got, uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of like some local shit. I can't even think of something anything right unique. Now. Something well, later unique. on, you, you got time before we leave. Yeah, I got time. Uh, you can Google it, I guess. I don't know. What to do in Amarillo. Uh, what to do. What to do. We just got this new thing called Synergy, which is like a giant Dave and Busters. Oh, okay. That place oh, is that's dope. cool. I yeah. like Dave and Busters. It's like the we, we have some, cheese for adults. We have some new high end restaurants, but hmm. I haven't even tried them because I'm, you know, I can't afford that shit. Can you wear Crocs when you go in there? If you can't wear Crocs, I ain't about Ooh, that. Well, you can sorry. wear Crocs. That's going to limit our options right there with the freaking Crocs. <laughs> you can wear Crocs as long as you have a uh, fedora. So that's cool. I, I walk into McDonald's, I'm like, I'm sorry, no Crocs allowed. <laughs> can you imagine? Be, be, <laughs> the discrimination. You could be on the news. I saw I'm. I was devastated. <laughs> <laughs> I cried for three hours. Crocs has a Twitter page, right? Or a Twitter handle. You would and, know. Well, I do, man. And, 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 <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, my son, my, my six-year-old's got Crocs, man. So he, That I can understand. But I'm, yeah, I'm going to get so into you more. Want, you want You're 40 a, what? 40? 39. You want your six-year-old? You're 39? And a half. Yeah, no, no. You're 39? Yeah, I'll be, 30, I'll be 40 in, on December 18th. How old do you think I am? I, you're older than him, so. Ah, you motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, oh, me? I thought you were saying I'm older no, than you, I'm you, you said he was older bitch. earlier. No, so I would, no. I would guess uh, 42. The higher? 45. 5-0. Oh, you're 50? 594. Oh, okay. I'm going to be 51 in November. It's like, what kind of brujeria you been doing, man? 1967. <laughs> uh, yeah. 67. It's a good year. Yeah. That's I'm one. a classic. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> But it, it's uh so on on the tw- Twitter handle for Crocs, there's this one dude. It says something about why not, and it shows this guy dribbling the ball. He's got Crocs on, shorts, no shirt, and he dunks the ball wearing Crocs. <laughs> why not, man? You do everything in Crocs, dude. That's true. Jokes. You can't get laid in Crocs. <laughs> Unless you're already married. Yeah. Well, then so so you're saying you can't get. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that could be challenging. It's not going to happen. Sure. <laughs> it's like it was going to happen anyways. <laughs> not without any money, that's for sure. Uh, well, when you're married, it don't matter. You wear whatever you want, man. Wear nothing. That's not going to change. It's not going to change how your wife 
feels about you. What's about you? She hates you either way. It don't matter, dude. <laughs> no. It don't matter. Your life's done, man. You just living for your kids, bro. I agree with you. Hey, who painted these, man? Are these on oh, no, us? Oh, I painted. This no, that's the one I was admiring. The the. Uh, Oh, yeah. I believe you? a portrait. That's, that's my grandfather. Somebody, grandfather. somebody said I look a lot like him. Yeah, I can yes, see it. The, definitely a resemblance. Yes. I can see it. Was he half too? No, nah, he's full. Oh, full what? Full white supremacy. Oh, awesome. I like him yeah. even more, dude. No, no, uh, but look what he's wearing. Look, you know how how well. The yeah, it's very his together. Very yeah. dapper. Definitely. Yeah, they. Yeah, you had to wear that just to get in the McDonald's back in the day, man. Suit and tie. Now you can wear Crocs, so it don't matter. You know what? I'm willing to bet his grandpa has on Crocs. You can't see his feet. No, they're not. They didn't <laughs> Wood, wooden Crocs. They didn't exist back in the day. Back when did in, they come up with the Crocs? In, uh, <laughs> probably in the nineties. When that's when they nineties. It's probably later than that. Yeah, I think it was later. I think it was later. I'll, I'll uh, look, dude. Crocs, Crocs are year round. You wear them in the summer. No socks or socks if you want. Winter socks. It don't. You can wear them all the time, man. Well, oh. you shouldn't, but you can, yeah. So I was telling you. Found it in 2002. Yeah, so, yeah. Wow, okay. My wife got, well, I got my wife stuck in a mud her vehicle. What she's going to do that, we're going to rig, and she said, I wouldn't take it, and I took that road anyways. It was dirt road south of La Mesa. We got stuck. All I had on was sweats, socks, and Crocs, right? And I took my socks off, rolled my sweats up, and there I am walking around in the mud. It's 45-degree weather with Crocs. I got to, we got to the restaurant, and we got to that, 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 that engineer's, once they pulled this out, oh, what happened? Oh, you're good. It's just this. Okay. I got to I gotta fix my sound. Once we got thing. to the engineer's um, trailer, went in the restroom, wa- washed my Crocs off in the sink. And of course you did. Dried them off, put my socks on. It's like a brand new man. Then we went to go eat at, at K-Bob's, and it was good, man. Crocs are universal. It, they didn't have to dry. I dried them myself. This podcast is brought to you by Crocs. Thank you, Crocs. How that many was times a, did we mention that? Yeah, you should get you get a penny for every time you mention Crocs. Dude. And see, I wish I'd have like we can pay for cents. the Taco Villa, whatever restaurant <laughs> we're going. I'm real. Okay, so if you got the strap on the Crocs in the front, but what's with all the holes in Crocs though? It's to air out because sometimes your feet smell like butthole. Yeah, so, is that because you don't wear socks with them? No, no, I got on. I got on socks. Well, right you, now, you get the choice to wear them with or yeah. without. But that's the concept. Of, yeah, like get people, your feet air in it. People that it wear more like, like those, a sandal that wear boat shoes without socks. It's a combination of sandal shoe kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a, yeah, I wear socks. But you're saying most the position the of this one changes something? Yeah, okay, what so is this it? is just at home right here. This is lounging. <laughs> and when you put the strap in the back, that's like, uh, hey, I got to run into Walmart, this is, go to this United. Is like yeah, boom. Okay. I'm Olympic on sprinter. a mission. Yeah, you can run in these. You can yeah. dunk in these. Chase hose down. Yes, yes, exactly. So that's I love Crocs, man. Crocs security working though. You see those him, you see him chasing chicks <laughs> with those. Okay. So and then okay, man. And then, see him chasing fries. And then the socks. Your socks gotta be creative. These are women's socks because men's socks aren't creative. Plus, I got a small foot because I got a small. Penis, Were you wearing so. women's socks? Yeah. Oh, you do I, have a small foot. You know, what, I actually, what size you wearing women's? Uh, uh, a size nine in men's. Okay. Women's. I don't know. Eleven and a half. There's a, thank a half. You. Signs, <laughs> thank you, Albundi. I know CSI kind of type of thing where. Let's say you, there's a body, there's this member, they can measure, or there's several bodies, there's member, they can measure the bones and, and the extremities, and they can compare, and they're able to tell which part belongs to what body because of the measurements. Mm. And the same thing that you mentioned in your feet, you have a small feet, and therefore you have a small, small dick also. Right. It, I heard that before I got many, big, many times. You know, they, 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 I got a... Your foot is the the same size as like your forearm to your you wrist. You see, that's exactly what I'm saying. There's a science no, that they, that is uh, based is. on that. Yeah, it is. That's, that's what right. I heard. That's what I heard too. Yeah. You, I see thought- how, you see how they put like, uh, like the woman? They put the elbow and this part inside of the pants. Yeah. To see if they, it's gonna uh, sorry, it's gonna fit or whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's I, like you're saying that's supposed to be your waist. Correct. Oh, I thought this man. was the. I, thought- I don't think this is gonna work with him though. But <laughs> <laughs> ah, you motherfucker! But I see I people thought- doing that. Uh, <laughs> not me either. I didn't know that this was the foot. I thought this was the uh, how wide your butthole could be stretched out from your forearm to. Would you shoot right here. You'll well, see you how, there's really see. science has found no limit to how fuck wide science, your, man. To how fuck wide science. your butthole can oh, be stretched. Shit. That's a that's a valuable pocket, you know. Let's see. Nah, dude. No? Well, the, well, your your shoe's gonna be bigger than your foot. No, my foot's tight in here. <laughs> I got. Right. I, I wear small shoes because I'm big we feet. Stand <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking with you, dude. Yeah. The also thing is, uh, I heard that if you stain these two fingers, that's the, supposed to be the size of your penis right there. Yeah, I think, the, I think the it's... The thumb and your... In the I don't finger. know how true Bend that my is. thumb that, back? That, <laughs> that's measure your 
the size of you, Pingo. That's what they say. That's what they say. <laughs> you right? Just, you then, heard that too, I right? I heard that in junior high. Then yeah. you just hear, you hear my thumb snap. <laughs> now, now, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, wait a second. It ain't right. Pull Hold that up. back. <laughs> I'm winning one way or another, you motherfuckers. There needs, there needs to be something for women, like for the, the vagina. Oh, like yeah. It's, it's your pinky. No, no, no. In that's half. a rubber band. That can, <laughs> I, I, I've seen porn. Believe me, that's yeah. like a rubber band. That can stretch out like a motherfucker. Don't worry. Yeah. There's babies come out of there. But, but, it stays, but it stays the same height, you know, from top to bottom, right? Does, I don't know. That's don't science, know. dude. That's science. Keep, when I was in high school, you put I, a butterfly I, in it. I remember they used to say that the Asian chicks have the vagina sideways. That's not ah, true. So I know it's not true, but so that's what I they was, used to say when I was, I was really school. disappointed last week. Yeah, me too. Really? That's what you gotta <laughs> <change going. laughs> Their buttholes are sideways, though. That's uh, that's the oh, that's a trick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you didn't go back there, man. That's. I tried to swipe my ATM. <laughs> on the opposite. So, so if you're in Australia, so would it be upside down? Because they're. Come on, dude. That's good shit. It's the same thing. No, Did but Australia down? Down, is... Under. Yeah, come on, man. It's a, down, that down, was good down, shit down, right there. Thunder down under, yes. Sorry, I'm going to answer a phone call really Do it, bro. What's up, bro? So, well, me and Rafa here. No, I don't know, man. The call. I kind of sound... I can't. I feel like some Taco Bell and some coffee on the way in. Maybe a, a Taco Bell, coffee, and a bottle of Topo Chico, and then I think we're good to go, man. Dang. No, not Taco Bell, Taco that's, Villa. That's very Taco proud Villa. of you. Okay. Have you had Topo Chico? Mm-hmm. Dude, that's the shit, man. It's a mineral I don't really, water. I don't really like mineral water. Someone's oh, I right. fucking love it now, dude. I feel like uh, I don't know. Like I went to I went to Germany with uh with them to meet some family members and shit because I'm half. But awesome. And all, all they drink is mineral water, and I would just drink the sink water. It's like I'm good. Yeah, no, it's it's uh. You got to get acquired to it. What part of Germany did you go to? Uh, Würzburg, uh-huh. Berlin. Oh no shit! And like I don't know, a bunch of tiny places. Awesome, man. I went to Germany. We were there for two weeks when I was in the military. It's uh, the base was Rammstein. I like to say oh, Rammstein. That's badass. And then we were that's at like the, the band. We stayed at uh, Du Hast. We stayed in Landstuhl. Du and, Hast. Bitch. And we stayed at this hotel. It was a four star hotel. You went down this windy brick road, like yeah. at a forty five degree angle, and there's this little bar at the bottom. There was this Russian bartender named Anastasia. Everything sounds like it's fake, but that's mm-hmm. that's the way it was. And uh, we were there for two weeks. And I got drunk off of Jägermeister. Really? Oh, yeah, so much so, man. That and it was cheap too. You go in the base, you buy it. I was throwing up brown shit one time and almost almost choked on my vomit. My, mm-hmm. my this guy Larry Carr helped me up. I threw up all over the restroom and then I passed out. How and, were the, uh, the were the German women in love with with tan guys? Uh, oh, you don't see a lot of Mexicans over there. Well, we went. I didn't really see a lot. <laughs> That's what represents us all over there, dude. Come on. So Are we, you serious? We went to the he bar. You ruined it for everybody else, dude. We went to the bar. We did that. Then we went a couple of times uh, to this uh, place that they sell kebabs. But it wasn't a German dude. It was some Middle Eastern dude. And those kebabs mm. were the shit. And they didn't. I was used to fountain drinks, right? But everything yeah. over there is in cans, right? You got a mm. can of this or a bottle of that. It was good, man. I blacked out a lot. Uh, my supervisor was choking <laughs> me, almost like choked. I was on the. Uh, I thought he was gonna throw me over the, cause he was choking me over the ledge of the of the third story we were at. Damn. Yeah. Then another that time, like a rape me story. A, she was choking me. And it was. It was. It was a good time, man. It what was, was the name of the town again? Lanstuhl. You see, it sounds, that sounds like a shit. Like that I left was, the Lanstuhl in your it toilet. Is, <laughs> it's <laughs> funny how uh, he, he's German, and I don't speak German. It's, his German sounds very good, but his Spanish doesn't. <laughs> but does that tell you something, man? Yeah, it's white power so, all so, day, he's baby. So aggressive. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> yeah, it was a. Nine. It was a good time, man. It was a good time. The, but the hotel, it was a four star for the restaurant, but. The breakfast sucked. The food over there, I thought was shitty. But then again, I was twenty one. I didn't really like the food over there either. It's like so, so the eggs and everything else, and they keep the ham and everything. There's a lot of, uh, I guess, what prison people call spread. So like they would have the cheeses mm-hmm. and the meats and the bake. Everything tasted different over there. But I was very narrow minded back then. I mean, not that I'm not still. All but... I really ate over there was sandwiches. That's all they ate. Okay. You, you play it safe and it's like just a sandwich and doesn't do me alone. Right? Well, like that's what I was with. I was be at people's houses and they would just prepare like open, open bread, face. yeah, meat, yeah, and then spreadable cheese and they would just stack it and eat it. Like, did you have some oh, of that beer that's, wine? That's what I had the majority. So it of wasn't time. even your choice. It was just whatever they yeah. put in there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we went to a couple of restaurants and they had like pasta and like yeah. regular shit. But. It's weird. It, people stink overseas. Is where that's one thing I found. I mean, I'm a clean son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. Even though I take a lot of shits. I mean, I wipe my butthole thoroughly. I took a shower in an old school tub. That was interesting. Ooh, nice. Yeah. 
It was like in the Dude. middle of the bathroom all by itself. Clean water or would you use someone else's? <laughs> I was clean. I was clean. <laughs> they melt that snow. And they had like these metal shutters on the, on yeah. the house I was staying in with no light would go in. I thought that was the coolest shit ever. Like it would block all the sunlight. So th- that's cool. Did yeah. you have the, they had the windows where you you had that little wheel and you got to rotate it and then it opens up from mm-hmm. the top. That was there's no air, there's no air conditioner over there in the mm-hmm. rooms where we were at. I it, think we had one. AC? It wasn't like central. Well, we no. you weren't you weren't the military. I understand that they. Well, no, we stayed. It was a whatever. No, we dude. I was. That was Air hotel. Force. Ooh, I was I Air did, Force. I did I stay at a hotel in Berlin, and they had a fridge full of shit, and they didn't charge you for any of it. So there was oh, a bunch the, of alcohol you could drink. The sundries. Yeah, that was dope. That's cool. No, I was I was Air Force. We didn't stay in barracks and shit like that. We stayed in hotels, bro. How do you know? Oh, you went yeah. Air Force. That's the nicest one, man. Yeah, dude, I was Air Force. I, I, yeah, I learned how to. No, shine. when you mentioned there's no AC, that's why I feel. Oh, no, you're no, in could, the barracks. I, I can see that no, they just put tanks or whatever. I can see Air whatever. Force being more PC. In the Air Force, in the Air Force, we. Uh, that's why I learned how to. See, people come out. Oh, I was in. The, I was in the Marines. I learned how to kill people. Or I was doing all this. You know, I learned how to shine my shoes and talk shit in the military. That's what I learned how to do. That's why I perfected it, man, and that's what I'm doing it now. Continue, but it was Air Force. It was chill. It was just like a regular job. It's you go mm-hmm. to work, mm-hmm. you do your job. Eight hours later, you go home. It's it's yeah. It's just a job. It's not it's not a way of life. Mm-hmm. It, it, that's the not the way I looked at it. It was a job. It was a way for me to get out of Lubbock. And and they didn't put you in the front line though. The the front line of the bar, or whatever. I was blacked out. I blacked <laughs> out so when I turned 21 in Fort Wayne Beach, Florida. I blacked out seven times that first year. Seven different times I blacked out. In man. one year? Yeah. You wild, bro. But I was Fort Wayne Beach, Florida, man. The swamp was over there. There was this like open air bar. So you used to be smarter. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> We're not speaking to the one one to time the Paul that has all his brain cells. One time yeah, I, the, the great matter has been going for a <laughs> long time. One time I woke up at my place. I don't know how I got there. My ex wife, she said she had dragged me to the room and I was on the floor, no shirt. No Why shoes. drag you? I would have just left you there. What the? Hell? I wasn't. I wasn't. I was. I was 175 pounds of beef, so I wasn't that oh, okay. fat. So it was, I was in the living room. I don't know. She didn't want me there. So I, I and I had some silver shorts on, basketball shorts. I don't know who they were. I called my homeboy up, mm-hmm. and because it's fun, we didn't have cell phones. I said, "Hey man, who's whose shorts are these? This is Feasel. He says, "Those are mine." I said, "Why? Why do I have them on?" He says, <laughs> "Because remember we jumped in the night. pool." And your dick kept on popping out of your boxers, and you were upset about it, so you just stripped down and you put on these basketball shorts, and that's how I got. Home. I don't know how I got home. That's I don't, I, crazy. Yeah, I, last I, time I blacked out, I got naked too. Well, it's, well that's that means you had a good time, man. That's what that yeah, means. That's, that that's translates good time, do. man. That's exactly what you supposed yeah, to do. seven yeah. times, bro. When there's a, and there was some other stupid stuff I did where there was we always had a bunch of house parties too, man, and in Fort Wayne Beach, and we have camcorder. Well, someone had a camcorder. I had a camcorder. Someone else. And there was a fo- there was me. me someone spilled vodka on the counter, and there's, there's a video of me where I hold one nostril and I sniffed at vodka, and I come oh, up Jesus. and I'm smiling, and as I'm smiling at the camera, blood just starts rushing down my nose. <laughs> I snorted that. Then in the same video, <laughs> what the hell are you think? Then the same video, I fall back into a futon. And I get stuck. And this house is packed with people, right? I get stuck in that futon. <laughs> so I, get stuck. I think I broke that one. Then I broke a dragon from my Where homeboy's you roommate. Stuck, like in the cushion of the futon? Like, like Winnie the Pooh stuck in the rabbit's hole, yeah. And so they had to <laughs> pull me out because of bed because it was I got stuck. And then we were wrestling one time. We were drunk. And apparently he had this ceramic Wait, dragon. Were, you, were your pants on or off? It doesn't matter, bro. <laughs> off, it's even better he time, like man. Down. He doesn't <laughs> <laughs> like, like Hillary Clinton, does it matter? <laughs> Really. If, if they're off, it's an even better time. So, so apparently, you broke the dragon. I broke the dragon. But right? It's too bad you weren't at Disney World when he was doing security. <laughs> he would have found you on gay day. Blacked out on gay day. So you, then, I swear I got a wife. <laughs> so, then, so then my homeboy Fiesel, he, he glued the dragon back together. But as he was gluing it, it had already been glued once. Mm-hmm. So then his roommate took the TV out of the living room and took other stuff, took it all from my homeboy Fiesel like he's punishing him. So... Cause, Cause, he said, "Well, you broke my dragon." So my friend started calling me the Dragon Slayer <laughs> because I broke this ceramic dragon he got from Korea. But it already been broken, man. Don't act like, and you pay, you got it from some bootleg Korean dude for probably like ten bucks. Motherfucker acts like he got it from some fucking dynasty shit over there. Shut the fuck up. His name is Corey Mellinger, man. <laughs> we used to call him. Well, everyone called him Liv, little Italian fuck. He just had. He's a big nosed crybaby bastard, real snivelly fuck. <laughs> 
Yeah, I remember there was one time he was trying to talk to this chick and he was getting mad at his other supervisor. He said, I just, I just want some food. It's so stupid. He loved to fall in her. I love, I love the way you just keep going off. No, like, no, he holds a grudge. I can tell <laughs> that. You know? And you just keep getting more like oddly. He will never forget this shit. You get shit. more oddly specific the longer your rant goes. Like, fuck him. You wake up at 3 p.m. every day and eat sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> you sandwich eating 3 p.m. waking motherfucker. And again, you, that's how you know it was a true story because all those little details, you see what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Was I in the wrong for breaking his dragon? Yeah, <laughs> but he should have came. I mean, be honest. Hey, dude, I'm upset because you broke my dragon. Granted, it was already broken. But you broke it. I appreciate you gluing it back. I mean, maybe I sh You know what? Looking back on it, the 39-year-old me, maybe I should have bought him another $10 bootleg dragon. They yeah, probably yeah, have yeah. him at the Dollar Tree or Family Dollar. Yeah. But don't act like it's some fucking ancient Korean artifact, motherfucker. But, I mean, it was all your fault. So. Uh, yes. I assume this gentleman was your friend. <laughs> Who, Corey? No, my homeboy, Fiesel. He had a... Cor yeah, his roommate was Corey Mellinger. Because oh. uh, they were together. Yeah, you? yeah, they, 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 yeah they knew. He knows that you, you passed out and teeth. you drink a lot and all he that stuff, adopted. right? Yeah, because I wasn't. And they still invited you, so no, he it was, is your fault. He it's was, their fault, right? I think he was over. He was TDY. He was overseas somewhere at the time. I think, uh, I think Paul was just that one guy who it's like, let's not tell him about this party. No. But he keeps I was the life anyway. of the party. No, <laughs> these motherfuckers no, no, no. were, these motherfuckers were the away from me. Party, like, yeah. hey, they, they called hey. me. They called me. Cause my you got to have fun. You got to bring Paul. My homeboy Kelly, he was from Philly. So he's uh, whenever he met my little girl, he's. Every she, time Paul parties, he breaks she, the table. She called me dad because, you know, uh, I'm, no, I'm her dad. Something fucked up. You know that. <laughs> so my going to get fucked up besides Paul. My little girl at the time, my 22-year-old, she... Kelly said, "Who's this?" She said, "That's my daddy." He said, "No, you say Poppy. He's Puerto Rican. You say Poppy because he's he didn't know Mexicans because mm -hmm. he's over there, so he knew Colombians and Puerto Ricans from Philly. So he started calling me Poppy. So other people would call me Poppy, right? Or Puerto Rican, or 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 Mexican, or Pancho, or Paco, whatever. So whenever I got to these parties, they would say, "Hey, tell Poppy to come out here," and I'm like, "Hey, what's going on, man?" And they're like, "Do something. Like, Do something. <laughs> I'll go fuck." And then boom, I would just would go off, and that's. So, yeah, the party started when I got there. I was like a fat Mexican version of pink. Let's get this party started. Who was that? Black Eyed Peas? I'm Brown Eyed Peas, motherfucker. That's what I did. Let's so, get it started. I can see Some that. shit, yeah. Let's get retarded. Oh, but what did Pink I say? I PC started. That's, that's Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. But what did Pink say? Let's get this party started. Let's get this party started. Yeah, Pink had know. one about getting a party song. started. Yeah. How's, how's the rest of it go? I don't know. She's some hippie bitch now. Fuck her. I, I like her dyke haircuts. Yeah. Can I say Dyke? Fuck but yeah. You can say whatever you want, man. <laughs> yeah, this is your podcast. You no, no, even that. You could say whatever you want. Now, are there certain repercussions for it? Yeah. Yeah. Might, maybe. Maybe. But you could say whatever the fuck you want. But isn't that covered by the Second Amendment? Who right? knows about all that stuff? First Amendment. <laughs> First Amendment. Oh. Yeah. Second so, you see, it should be number one then. That's yeah, okay. it, right? It's very here's, important here's, then. You could well, say, it protects you against the government from and being then, punished. It doesn't protect you from people firing you. Or, if, if, if I go to you, Rafael, you with your well, How many people have died to protect or to give us those rights? To Millions. To protect those rights and... Come on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. Because I served in the Air Force, so you could say it. You're welcome. That Both of you. That count. Bullshit. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Both of you faggots thinking, are welcome. I didn't you're welcome. Anything. You're welcome. Thank you. So thank you. you're welcome. We're thank so you. glad we, we were able to get you to black out seven times in one year. Yeah. Like, <laughs> with my tax paying dollars. That was really, awesome, motherfucker. We really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so then. Uh, so, and then you broke a, the dragon, too. Yeah, so yeah, yeah I broke a dragon. Me and this dude, we wrestled. Me and this guy, Corey Bell. All sides. We got drunk. We were wrestling. I, he wasn't wrestling. It was more like he was swinging me around in this in this front yard where there was just dirt and kept on throwing me down. I can't imagine someone swinging you. I was 175 pounds of beef, bro. <laughs> yeah. That was a that, that was like was 100 a pounds ago, man. Yeah, I was ago. like I was like 20 years and 100 pounds ago, man. So yeah, yeah, 2000, 2000, yeah, 18 years. Oh yeah, bro. We got in some. We call them sausage parties because a lot of dudes of that show up. But then Jimmy Dean's. That's what we called this. Uh, <laughs> Music and Rudy, last names. They lived on Okaloosa Island. Which you walked out of their place, and and the beach was just a, a few, maybe a hundred yards right there. Some little. Like it was Jimmy Dean's man. So I just parties like a motherfucker. Mm, wow. It was fun though, man. And then some chicks would show up, and then ruin everything. Ruin, guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you were thinking that same thing. Uh, uh, yucky, <laughs> yucky. You invited these nasty uh, vaginas. Get like, out of here! How did they find uh, out about this gross. party? I can't believe it. <laughs> gross. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. This is a sausage party. <laughs> Duh! <laughs> Somebody tell you, <laughs> you fucking cunts. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> Take your estrogen out of here. Oh, nasty. <laughs> oh, 
shit. Yeah, you couldn't get away with that stuff now in the military, man. That stuff, yeah. it, it, you, it, nope. I, from my homeboy tells me no place, man. You they don't. Really? Yeah, you're worried. Like you're, you're like on pins and needles. You're worried about everything, mm. about how people are going to perceive stuff. I'm not saying you shouldn't, but I, so I agree with him. I, I think I would have been kicked out a long time really? ago. Yeah, man. Just for, for being me. It's it's uh, don't be a menace to South Central when he says I got arrested for being black on a Thursday afternoon. Yeah, I got kicked out of the military <laughs> for being Mexican every or, or Lubbock Mexican. Stay black, uh, brown. Why did you quit the military? By the way, now that you mentioned, I got out of the military because my marriage was going to shit, and I knew I was going to spend a did year over help? in Korea. No, no, because I, I was going to get a. Div- I knew I was, divorce was inevitable, but I wasn't going to be without my daughter. Oh, and so okay. so I, I moved back to Lubbock, that and then I went and did reserves shortly after that. But uh, I did. Yeah, I got a, I was in the reserves till 2000, um, 2007, okay. and then and then uh, I just had one too many kids, going to school full time. I was a manager with Chili's, so there was a lot of so I'm to Chili's. A Mexican with one too many kids, yeah, that's hard to believe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's that's never yeah, happened. it's man. So then I had to get I'd gotten management with Home Depot. It was and Home Depot. You're just, yeah, you're real this cliche. is the third time he mentions <laughs> Home Depot. So see, see, uh, have I? You get, yes, sir. Did I mention Home Depot Nick earlier? Crocs yeah, and you Home Depot, you yeah. You mentioned Home Depot like three times. This podcast is about to you, Brian. About to you, Brian. Home Depot. Crocs and Home Depot. Okay. And crude oil. There you go. I don't know, man. Home oh. Depot was fun. I bet it was. Hanging out in the front all day waiting for jobs. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for it. You asked for it. That, that's it. Yeah, and they're like, no, no, no. We want a real mask. And where, <laughs> where's the, the Rafa type people? <laughs> it's over there. Look for, the, look for the flowing hair. He's you just tossing so it back English and forth. Words, Paco. <laughs> <laughs> I was like Jim Carrey and was that C. Dick and Jane or what oh, was that yeah, movie yeah, Dick yeah. and Jane? Or they call his son? Yeah. Hola. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> I saw that movie the other day. That's stupid, man. That's a really funny movie. Yeah, that was before Jim Carrey went crazy. Nah, I think he's always been crazy. Yeah, I think you're right. I think he just toned it down. You're right. You're probably just yeah. Toned it down for Hollywood jobs, whatever. And, and then with social media being with 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 information being readily available, it's. You can just say what you want to millions of people at one time. Someone like him. Yeah, Twitter, uh, Facebook, whatever you want, man. And I, th- I feel like celebrities feel like they have to be political now. Yeah, it's so stupid. I don't want to hear. People, <laughs> that, that, what's her name? Laura Ingram caught shit because she told LeBron James to just shut up and dribble. I yeah. agree with it. I don't want to hear what these athletes have to say. You can build a school, build a school. But do your dribble that ball. Throw that football. Do whatever the hell he's going to do. I don't want to hear about your political stuff, man. I, yeah. I don't care about it. Do what you do what you're good at. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm an expert. No, I'm not. I'm an idiot. I'm a dummy. I'm whatever you want to call mm-hmm. me. But I'm also not on a Bron- on LeBron's level either. Yeah. He had a Beto hat yesterday walking yeah, into that. a set. Was that real? Yeah, that was real. Why did he have that? He had the spicy ketchup from Whataburger sign Why on his would cap. Why would he be because, supporting because, someone from Texas? Because, it's because he's no, a dummy. I get it because you live in Texas. <laughs> yeah, because he's <laughs> yeah. a racist, man. It's like if you had California's governor on your shirt. Because they're yeah. stupid. They're putting all that money into this dude and, and they're not going <laughs> to... Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, he might. I mean, he's down like six points, but I don't know. I don't know. I already voted for Cruz, so whatever anyone wants to think about it, go fuck yourself. Yeah. So I voted for Cruz also. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna go. Just vote. got voted for Waterburger. I was gonna vote for the Libertarian guy. The I watched the Libertarian guy because I wanted to vote Libertarian. Yeah, but that guy just seemed like no confidence at all. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you ever listen to uh, part of the problem with Dave Smith? No. Libertarian from from I know Gaster, Smith is, though. Yeah, it's uh, I listen to this stuff a lot, man. And I again, I like all views. I will trash what you think or what you say. Yeah, but I mean, we still be friends, you know. Uh, for sure, for sure. So it's it's I, I like people. Percent with, of my friends are vote for Beto. I like people with opposing views. Not even that. Even if you're something else, even whatever it is, you are, man. It, it, if you're Muslims, if you want to kill babies, if you uh, <laughs> you know think women should be able to vote, whatever it is, we can disagree on it, and, and it's fine. We can be <laughs> friends. They just got out of the kitchen. What do we, I, what I do love watching your facial expressions when he talks. It's, but it's great. What they can? When did this happen? <laughs> hold on. What, what, hold, I was telling someone. I was telling. Was it John Lewis? I was saying. I live my life like it's 1997, man. That's how I live my life. 1997. Well, bro. Women, women could still vote in 97. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> None of the women around him voted, by the way. But yeah, uh, that's, let's that's agree to disagree on that. <laughs> <laughs> I like when they asked Trump about him paying and giving a million dollars to Elizabeth Warren stuff because he said he would. Yeah. And, and he says, N- like, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> they have him on tape. He's just, <laughs> he's, he's just a master troll. Oh, that's, that's, why I'm that's, like, that's hilarious. Pe- people freak out over him, but it's like, <laughs> no, you like, still believe whatever he says? That's just to prove you shouldn't. Stop, stop taking him serious. Yeah, why are people, people are still taking him <laughs> You should know better. 
He shouldn't like, be offended by anything he says at this point. Like, yeah, I, I, I know women were able to vote in 97, but by me saying, uh, <laughs> let's agree to disagree on that. I'll, I'll have my people look into it, and I'll get back to that. Yeah, yeah. Let's put a pin in that. <laughs> Circle back around. <laughs> That's so stupid, man. But, yeah, man, I, I, it's, it's, I have this... Uh, I have this 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 bit where we talk about I, one of the main things that I've talked about lately is I guess for a while is since working in Hobbs how I'm not viewed I'm discriminated by these Mexicans over there real Mexicans from Ojinaga because I'm I'm a fake Mexican my family's fourth fifth generation here from both sides right mm-hmm. so even by them I'm not accepted I'm accepted now because I mean they know me they like me hey Paul whatever he is. but I'm not one of them mm-hmm. they view that yeah and. And and one of my 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 mother in law's secretary, uh, she said that, uh, and then I say, nah, yeah, she has a secretary because she's white, so of course she has a secretary. So Data's <laughs> Mexican. She said that you're not Mexican. And I said, well, what am I? She says I'm Hispanic. Mm-hmm. I said, yeah. So is every other brown person from here in, in, to, to South America. So I said, well, would you say that? Would you agree with me that I'm of Mexican descent? And she said, no. No, you're Why once not? once you come over. She said, once you come over here, you're American. You you you're Mexican. You lose that title. So then we have this whole thing, and then I said that that uh, Mexican is 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 a nationality. Mexican is it's, but in in Lubbock, it's a race, mm-hmm. and it's part of. I feel it's, like a, a lot of the South, it's it's a race. It's a race, right? Yeah. Even though it's a nationality, but here in Lubbock, it's a race, which falls under an ethnicity, which is Hispanic, mm-hmm. which falls under the race of Caucasian. And in this bit, I say, look, man, I want to be just as Caucasian as the next person. You don't think I want to be out there committing hate crimes? You don't think I want to be out there burning crosses on people's lawns? I do. do I really? do. But it's just not in the cards, man. I'm Mexican. It's you funny can, that you, you mentioned that. A, uh, the DPS, the uh, Department of Public Safety or whatever, they, you're supposed to mark, you know, if you're what, uh, Hispanic, you race, mm-hmm. and Mexicans are Caucasians. I was surprised. I was yeah, yeah that's, a, that's the thing now. Yeah, the, 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 I guess there's five major ra- or th- four major races. You've got uh, Asian, you've got uh, Caucasian, you've got um, uh, black. What do they call black? What is that? Uh, African American? No, 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 no. The the race of black. I can't remember what that's called. And then you've got uh, then you've got. Uh, they say that the Aborigines are their own race because from Australia, right? That's that's a, that's the four I major races. Yeah. I can't remember what they call black. So it's Caucasian, Asian. What is black called? African descent. African. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember. But there's, this. but there's black people from South America. So that's it's true. Really. Well, but 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 they were brought over here it's via the slave trade. Someone should know that should be you because you have black in you. Right. Right. Well, that was last night. Well, but as far as <laughs> I mean, you're talking about. Yes, eight percent. That's what he meant for, by blacked out. For, <laughs> a, group, a, group, a group of black men. No one that he's blacking out. Okay, now I get it. I make sense. Out. It's African American. Uh, I was careful. I was ahead of the curve. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't even done my DNA test at that time, man. Oh. That's that's stupid. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one, Rafa. Thank you. Kudos, thank you. man. <laughs> uh. Man, how long we been on, dude? We've been on like two fifteen, no two twenty. Hey, man, but I fucking talk. <sighs> it's been great. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> been okay. Great. Been a bit great episode. Yeah, bro, it was good stuff, man. Yeah, we can go ahead and wrap it up. Yeah. I know you guys probably want to get back to Lubbock in time to do other things. Yeah, I'm gonna help my son with his costume. What we- time's the mic tonight? Oh, uh, nine. I would like nine. to say the nine. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I was thinking about going. I think my wife would be upset with me if I did this and then went over there. But my son, he's the 15 year old. He's got, he's gonna be the Kanye Kanye West, um, the Roblox type thing. He's always I need to help him finish up that costume. Wait, Kanye West Roblox? Roblox. What is that? The, you, the the video with him and that little little oh, pump. Oh, you like, know what Roblox is? I love it. I yeah, that video. I you know what Roblox about. is? As a, a square body. It's a game. Oh. The kids play my 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 kids play my my five year six year old and my ten year old. That name sounds familiar. Roblox, it's like Minecraft, but it's a, it's you can oh okay buy different yeah, but it's it's a, at least I'm familiar with Minecraft. It's another generation of that. So my son, so I'm gonna help him out with that costume, and then okay, my daughter's is my ten year old is Super Mario, my six year old is Luigi. So I think I'm gonna do the box. I'm gonna get a box, spray paint it yellow, and then be the question mark box from uh, 
from Super Mario games. So I'll probably not going to that tonight. Before the mushroom appears, is that the one? So she's yeah. going to run you over? <laughs> so <laughs> I just need to find a He's box. I need to find a box big enough. So so everyone's going to be a box this year? A <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> box family. So, yeah. So that's what I'm doing tonight. Rafa, are you going to go do that mic? Yes. Bar PM? Mm-hmm. Very that's nice. good. That's yeah. Exciting. Yeah. My wife was, she's like, nah, just, just this. I said, all right. So she calls this, um, comedy my girlfriend mm-hmm. because man when i haven't done it for a while it's, it's like, I, I, I gotta do it man yeah, like, you should I, just be honest be like comedy is my wife babe. yeah you're, yeah you're the side jam <laughs> <laughs> her dad was a musician so it, it he was that pulled him man mm-hmm. so, yeah so it, music was yeah but yeah once it's everything once i've started doing it there's there's no way i can never stop yeah you're always thinking in that mindset yeah. you're always thinking 24 7 yeah all the time it is addictive that's for sure even stuff it, it, commercials or i can see a commercial and a commercial would just piss me off but it's not that i'm pissed off it's an observation that i just i get yeah. hype about my daughter my 10 year old said dad why you always get mad at commercials <laughs> i don't it's just it's just it's just it's what i see it's not <laughs> Oh, you, yeah. should, you should hit the one that says, "Are you placebo by Rary? Is this for diabetic <laughs> bet, uh, medicine or whatever the hell?" I bet your kids' teachers think you're crazy. Like they go, they go to school. Like my dad yells at the TV every day. <laughs> Commercials, okay. Like so, this is part. My I, dad hates Viagra. <laughs> there's, there's this, there's this part in Willy Wonka, the original one, uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, yeah. where Charlie's looking through the gate and he sees Wonka light up, W O N K, and he's there and he's looking, he's thinking. And then you hear the, an old, you hear a voice, and he looks over, and there's a scary man with a cart full of knives, and he sharpens the yeah, knives. I remember up. that random ass part. Okay, so with that, then he tells Charlie something, and he walks away with a noisy ass cart. And I'm like, how the fuck did this guy sneak up on Charlie? <laughs> if he's making that much noise walking away, how the hell did he get the drop on Charlie yeah. at the gate? Clank, 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 I walking away. I explain it to you, but you don't like science, so yeah. I call bullshit though. It's movies. I mean, yeah, I know it's a movie, but let's be real about it. Have him clanking up with his noisy ass knife yeah. sharpening cart. Not just not just get the drop on Charlie right there, man. He was mm-hmm. he was he could have done a lot of stuff to Charlie if he wanted to. Sorry about that. Oh, man. you're good. He could have done a lot of stuff. Uh, so that's I call out little stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, uh, just observation stuff that I think is. Um, that's why I hate scary movies. <laughs> when I when I go to the movie theater with people, they don't like going with me because I ruin it. Because you call it, or you yeah. See, yeah. I'm well, how can this time. happen? Whenever, yeah, I, I do <laughs> yeah. that. I do that. I do that with everything, man. And I, I like to point out the hypocrisy because I'm a hypocrite myself. So I'll, I'll, I'll own that too. Yeah. I'll wear it. I Every, don't care. A hypocrite. I don't care, man. It don't matter to me. You're not gonna affect my life in any way. That's I'm gonna lose sleep over it. You tell me something, you try to hurt my feelings, and then you cut to me asleep at night, snoring my fat ass off, bro. Your beard is weird. Yeah, yeah, nothing, man, nothing. You're, you're not gonna affect me, man. That was, that was, I got that was a text message. Oh, yeah. When I get a call, it's laughter. Whenever I get a text message, it's the. Symbol because nobody laughs at you in real life. Yeah, exactly. And then, and then whenever I get a whenever I get a, a a social media message from Twitter or something else, it's that trombone. Mm. Yeah, so I have my, all my notifications off for social media. Uh, yeah, no, nah, so I I, I, that's I just, was I was getting addicted. Yeah, it is addicting, man, because it's readily available. Everything is at yeah. your hands. Everything. That's why I think I know so much. That's why everybody thinks yeah. they know so much about what's going on, I even can't though we even don't enjoy know shit. Because I'm like, what's everybody saying while I'm watching TV? Yeah, oh, no, that's terrible. Then I got to rewind Netflix. Are you on social media? You're on Facebook, but are you on anything else? No, that's it. That's smart. I try to limit myself. Instagram's a lot of fun. Is it I'm because big on Instagram? Is it because the keyboard isn't in Spanish or <laughs> what is? <laughs> Part of it. <laughs> got to hit the SAP button. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the other R? No. <laughs> yeah, the, the rolling R's, not just one. The rolling R. Uh, it's good stuff, man. Now next Wednesday coming up, uh, it's gonna be Halloween. Mm. Do y'all have any Halloween shows? Uh, we're gonna be uh, doing the what is it? Lights out at the lantern. Uh, it's oh. going to be a custom. Everybody should be wearing oh, a custom awesome. kind of a thing. So that that should be a lot of fun. <sighs> See, uh, yeah. I took Halloween. I took, Halloween's big for me and my kiddos, so I requested that day off. So I trigger. I go. I go trick or treating with my kids, man. Well, that's good, but Big you can stuff. always, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, it depends. Getting kind of late and dumping yeah, them at wow. home, and then come and like even out. even for New Year's, I'm not the we're not the kind of people. I we did it maybe a few times, maybe twice, once, once or twice when I first got my wife. But I've we've always brought 
New Year's in with with our family because I mean I had mm-hmm. kids at an early age so well, I didn't we didn't go out on New Year's we spent it with family cousins everyone at the mm-hmm. house you're drinking doing whatever your vice is at the house but you bring it in with your with your family and I'm a big believer in that man plus too clubs to me that's so you can't hear anybody talk let me rephrase yeah, that people I, can't hear me talk that's why I hate clubs yeah. No, I, I do Not believe me, like Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas, definitely, New Year's Eve, definitely with your family. I, I don't, cons- I don't that. consider Halloween a holiday. But Halloween? I love it. Yeah, yeah. Halloween. Halloween's, I ask, Halloween's not real to me. I ask off for Halloween, but I don't ask off for Christmas and Thanksgiving. Because Christmas and Thanksgiving, my wife and them, well, they'll, just, they'll go down to Hobbs. Mm-hmm. So I'll put in an early day, get out early. and then we'll... I actually read that yesterday. Halloween's the second biggest holiday. I like, love Halloween. As far as spending goes, it's right under... It's right under Christmas. I have a, I have a. Oh, I love Halloween. Too. When I was at Home Depot, name drop, the the electrician Again, and the master plumber, Depot. they helped me make the 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 shower costume from uh, from Karate Kid. Oh, that's it's awesome. a heavy. No, I have it. It's a heavy duty one, man. It's the, so I had to cut it down, and uh, I'll show you a photo of it, man. But yeah, I, I love Halloween. That's real cool. Uh, I've done a, a lot of stuff, man, for for Halloween. One year I was. Um, I've never liked dressing up. 2016, before everyone started dressing as Trump, I was Trump. We went to these Mexican trunk or treats with these car shows, mm. and these guys are like, oh, it's not the right here, Trump. And I'm, and I'm, hey, I'm Mexican, dude. Yeah, it's all right, man. We're cool. You know? So, yeah. I mean, you can't. You, my hands are fucking brown, and I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> I didn't wear white gloves. I should have put some gloves on or dip, or dip my hands in some pink color or something, right? Or pink hands. Orange. Yeah. <laughs> You want Cheeto. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just rub some Cheetos in your hand. Oh, yeah. You Halloween's huge. What's the first one? Biggest one? Christmas? Yeah. And then Halloween is second, which kind of makes sense because you don't really buy gifts or anything for any other holidays. Yeah. You don't my really splurge my wife and them will be there for. Uh, some Valentine's. I know that's big, too. Oh, yeah, Mother's I Day. About Valentine's. All the flowers and teddy yeah. bears. I, ne- I never think about Valentine's because I'm always single. Yeah, are you do that intentionally so you don't have a girlfriend? or? I'd, I'd like to say that. But no, <laughs> I, I do we, this. We can fix that in Lobo. Uh, I heard yeah. a few things. Here back, back pages isn't on anymore. Dude. I'll try to. They I'll try to black out in Lubbock. <laughs> which one? Which version? <laughs> Blackout one, blackout two. Um, two, mm. two. <laughs> in the booty hole. Yeah. All right. In the booty hole is a good, uh, good signing off. Message. Good ending. I like it, man. You guys want to plug uh, social media? Any upcoming shows? Paul, you're the expert yeah. In well, that. Uh, Laugh Hub City on Facebook, and then at Laugh underscore Hub City on Twitter. So check those out for the different shows we have. Weekly shows they just all vary on what week it is, what part of the month. So, but if you like Laugh Hub City, you, they update the shows on there, right? On on Facebook, yeah. Facebook is the most accurate, yeah. And then I just copy off of whatever Facebook does and put that on Twitter. Cool, cool. So put the announcements in. Look, look there for uh, for silly jokes on Twitter. So reach out, like, follow. Yep. Yeah, and then uh, Yellow City, uh, we'll start having some shows. I don't know, probably second or third week in November. But let us let us know. Where know to find me. Uh, we were all been talking about coming to to Marilo and uh, oh for sure the guys the, the last time they were here they had a very good experience. Uh, yeah, um, I talking a lot of good things about Marilo. I've so been booking my own shows. Let us know. at a, a place called Tease Bar, and I've been wanting to get some Levitt guys on there. Do like a showcase. Mm-hmm. Just give us but a little heads up and we'll be here. I'll be here. Are you? St- uh, when's the world of beer? Do you already have that one planned? Because I want I like to do them on Fridays. I so, believe it's November. Uh, I can't. So I'd I have to, know, I'd have to do the week before or after that one. But yeah, yeah that's sh- a good idea. I should know, but I don't. Yeah, and that's about to change venues. World of beer is awesome. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know well, what's there, going on. There's a voting. That. That's still not written oh, okay, stone. Because cool. that's a people great like venue. It. Correct, and that's the thing. That's not going to be an easy venue to replace. I mean, I don't know Lubbock that well, but I feel like that's probably the best venue you guys have, right? As as far as audience, a bigger audience, yes. That's like a guaranteed at least 100, 150 people. That's a lot of people. If not more, I don't know how many fit in there. Probably more, probably like 250. That's crazy. Because the outside, uh, the smoking area. Oh, yeah, outside too. Yeah. Yeah, they got the speaker set up Great out there. Spot. And well, usually yeah. it's like standing room only, and people go there like two hours prior to the show mm-hmm. and to get a table and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. These guys, these guys work their ass off, man. The people set that up. Oh yeah, Caleb Feldman, Durbin. Does that uh, Durbin. I can't remember his name. West, the tall guy who, yeah, West. Does he ever do stand up? Uh, no, no, I've never oh. seen him do stand up. The, the DJ. Before. Yeah. The bald dude? Yeah, yeah. Wes Nassman. Nuh-uh. No, he's working on the 19th Street uh, Haunted House thingy. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. What's the name of that? Is he Frankenstein? Yeah, number 19th Street, yeah. 
<laughs> I've always thought he looked like Frankenstein. He's involved in that heavy duty. He's running the show oh, over okay. there, and that of course got, the radio station. I mean, he's got some big shoulders. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like a very like a masculine Bruce Willis. I mean, not that Bruce Willis isn't masculine. That's I mean, I love me some Bruce Willis. He's like a bigger version because Bruce yeah. Willis is probably like five eight. I don't know. How tall he, I don't he is. know. He's short. I he's don't probably know, one man. of those guys that just seems big in movies, and you meet him in real like life, Tom like, Cruise. Oh. Yeah, exactly like Tom Cruise. Yeah. Like people say Napoleon, even though Napoleon wasn't actually short, he was actually pretty tall for that. For was that he really? Level. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. I didn't know. This that. just that he was surrounded by whatever guard, whatever. So let's say it's Star Wars and the Imperial Storm, or the Stormtroopers, the Imperial Troopers. They were just they were just tall dudes. They were tall big dudes. So. Napoleon, who was taller than average, looked shorter because these guys are just so tall. Hmm. Yeah. Stuff you should know. Podcast. I'll have to look into it. I've yeah. never heard of that one. Yeah. yeah. So then the whole Napoleon uh, the complex. complex. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah that's what I heard. Farce. Yeah. Oh, so what's it? Yeah, it's like Russian collusion. Come on, man. It's fake. Mm. <laughs> Come on. Mm. Come on, man. No, it probably I'm is fake. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know either. But who knows, man? But the, the whole Napoleon complex, according to stuff you should know, I think it's stuff you should know podcast. Yeah, he was actually he was a he was above average height. Mm-hmm. It's just he was surrounded, but the people who guarded him, his is whatever you want to call him, his bodyguards. Yeah, they were tall. They're tall dudes. Of course, you don't want to have some short ass bodyguards. <laughs> I agree on that. So, yeah. So it's like whenever. If you, so, whoever I'm around, they don't look as handsome as I do. So it's 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 like that type of thing. Oh, whoever I'm around, okay, like, okay. hey man, Paul, this, Paul's a, this dude's an ugly dude. I was ugly. I'm like, nah. It's just I was standing next to him. So it's so that's take me the, away. The backup dancers who yeah, should Napoleon, be ugly. It says there's like conflicting stories. They say people say he was five foot two, but it's actually about five foot six, five foot seven, mm-hmm. which was tall for that time. Yeah, I mean that's that's not. I mean that's not that short right now. I mean, it's kind of short. But well, it's, yeah, it's not I'm, like I'm Kevin Hart. No, I'm short. <laughs> no, five seven. But back then, nutrition and everything else, it wasn't yeah, yeah, worth. Yeah. So they weren't. No, that was that was above average. Very nice. So learn something today. Every day, man. Every Home day. Depot, Crocs, Napoleon, Bonaparte, butterflies. And the butterflies. Butterflies. Yeah. <laughs> butterfly effect. If you title this, you should title butterfly effect. <laughs> or maybe just gay days. <laughs> or that. <laughs> Either way, isn't it the same thing? It works. Yeah. Science is gay. I don't want to hear about Science it. Science is gay. So I, I, I just don't. I don't care fuck, about numbers. Fuck science. Gay fuck science, dude. I don't care about. I don't care about numbers and science. I don't care about any of that stuff. Mm-hmm. No, nah, man. That's why I'm not a pharmacist. I think I'm gonna name the this episode. Paul doesn't care about anything. Mm, well, like, <laughs> well, I guess that's true. <laughs> because if you if you try to put me in a corner, you, well, you're not gonna be able to. First of all, you gotta find a corner big enough to fit me, and then after that. Yeah, dude. I'm going to change. I'm going to flip it on you, man. Yeah, he's not good at 90 degree angles. No, he's, they're not good. Not good for me, man. Got to get some wide corners. <laughs> Obtuse, if you will. Oval office type stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no corner. <laughs> Just oval. <laughs> Nature outside. All right. Let's wrap it up. Good real. stuff, man. Thanks right, a lot, yeah, Matt, for thanks, having us. Appreciate you. you. Uh, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get together and try to plan something for yeah. November. Sounds good. Yeah, and, man. Uh, Word. Yeah, I'd like, to, I'd like to collaborate more with Lubbock. It's yeah. just like... On weekdays, driving three hours. Yeah. Ass. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a stretch. It, it's, it, what is it, two hours? It's, 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 two like, hours. it's like an hour and a half. No yeah. Way. I just meant hour and a half there. Hour oh, half okay, back. okay, 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 okay. Because I was, I was going down there with Landry and then be tired as shit on the way yeah. back. So. Yeah, yeah. The end y'all would drink when you're over there? Yeah. Oh, fuck that. I don't drink. Well, good no, for you. Coffee. I mean, I drink beer occasionally. I mean, it depends... <laughs> Depends on what my wife said that night before, you know. So whether I want a liquor, yeah, I'm yeah, fucking with yeah, y'all, man. Yeah. But I, I drink a beer every now and then. But I, mineral water and coffee, and then, you know, all sorts of burritos and whatever else, bro. So I'm oh, only yeah. addicted to food. All right, Matt. Thank all you. All right. Let's Thank sign you, off. Later, Thank brother. You. Deuces.